faster than light. Another run today as the Federation cruiser. We've ha got made our crew, uh, Geo Dude Biden. Uh, get it? Because he's using Bide like Geo Dude. Um, young Money for our Mantis. Uh, ha we just have Hasselhoff here because we couldn't fit in the number of figures. And Monica, don't ask so many questions as our NG. We have the Advanced Edition content enabled. We're trying to unlock the uh, the Zoltan Cruiser because I want to go in for a pacifist run soon. Uh, but uh, th this ship is distinct and different because it has a whole laser built in. It's somewhat good. We may or may not make use of that, but it's kind of like a last priority type of thing. Uh, it fires pretty much whether or not you want to use it. You just have to power it and then it goes. Let's begin. All right. Uh, we are in the first sector. We learned a lot in the last run. I learned that backup batteries are very good. Cloaking is pretty overpowered. We won't send it. We will never surrender. Uh, of course not. Uh, we learned that backup batteries are good. God, I'm forgetting the controls here. It's been a while since I last played. Backup batteries are good. The Mantis... Well, we have a, a very varied crew right here. Ah, oh, damn it. You had to hit the shields for a double? Really? Okay, they're going to give me an NG for free. That's a very good early start. We also learned that mind control is extremely overpowered, especially if you have the slugs. Um, name something Gaul. Uh, we have we have so many good crew names. I I can't turn back time, but we can always have a new stream later on. The one thing I'm not going to be used to though is not having NG Med bot dispersal, which is extremely overpowered. We're going to position you here by the doors. The doors are a good system to have manned. I'm just trying to position my NGs tactfully because I know that NGs are going to need to do a lot of repair. Now what I should have done was that. That's much better. But now we can more tactfully use our med bay. I think we're good here. Nothing else to do. We have, an, we have a free NG. But I might actually take... You know, Biden, you're great. But I might want an NG as a pilot only because they can repair things faster and I might need that repaired quickly. In fact, no. Young Money, you're going to be our... D no, I don't even want Young Money as the doorman. I want Young Money by the oxygen because I usually like to fight for my oxygen room. And I'm even going to do that before doors. Good. You stay in there. I'm going to keep Hasselhoff at the weapons. Eventually we'll position someone else there. But we have our NGs on the dodge. I think that that's great. We need to make long-term decisions here, which is why I'm biding my time so much. The pause after read gallbladder. Gallbladder. Am I even allowed to say gallbladder on Twitter? I'm not even allowed to say it anywhere on the internet. Uh, especially well-armed pirate ship approaches. Hand over one. God, we have a lot of slavers in this first uh, sector. This is bananas. Okay, we've got a drone. We've got a missile. The drone and the missile are engaging in some kind of productive ballet over here. We're going to go straight for the shields again. This ship, as I've seen it, has a tendency to take a lot of damage early on. But then after that, it gets better. Okay, we're going to send Young Money over there to... Uh, why did I name him Young Money? <laughs> Why don't I name all of my crew members Young Money? Great, we got two free crew members for a little bit of hull damage. That's fantastic. Get in there. The one issue with this ship is that it's not going to be easy to put out fires. Why, you ask? Because we don't have a lot of doorways open to the outside. We have to open up most of the ship. Jesus Christ. Look, Young Money, get in there. God, we're running out of oxygen already. This ship is going to be very prone to things going on wrong on the inside of it. In fact, I might even bring Hasselhoff out of here now that we have Roper. Um, Roper and Young Money to the med bay. I'm just going to use as many opportunities as I can to read out my crew members' names. Have I tried a boarding run? A lot. Of, seen a lot of success with it. I haven't tried a boarding run, but it might work for this one. I, I want to go. I want to make good use of this ship's uh, plentiful gun arrays. Are we allowed to have drones on this ship? Oh, we don't even have drone systems installed. That was something that I took for granted with my last ships. I, w uh, I will never take that for granted again. We're going to send Roper over here. 
Hasselhoff, you aren't really very well trained yet. I'm going to leave you there. I'm going to put you in with the oxygen. Or I'll put you in with the doors. Young Money, you stay in the oxygen because I need strong. I need a strong show of power at the oxygen bay. Hasselhoff, you can control the doors, but I may need you to put out some fires too, so your functions will be dual. I think that this is fine. Let's keep going. Yeah. Proceed through the galaxy. Hmm. Ah, an asteroid field. Now, someone said in the last one that I should get shields right away. We still don't have enough. Let's take a lot of risks right here. Okay, nothing works out ever in our favor. That is quite sad. Hmm. Continue toward the dis distress beacon. Mantis Type B is the best, first best ship you'll unlock, then Diamond Type B. All the, supposedly a lot of the other ones are better. You locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease is spread vir virulently. Virulently? Vir well, a virus, so virulently. Is it virulently? I don't know why I'm taking issue with this. They're setting up a quarantine, quarantine to contain it, but a riot has broken out. I don't think that the NGs are as good at this. I think we gotta make a strong show with, um, The Thing. Oh, we could have named him The Thing. That's actually quite depressing that we didn't. Now we're looking for Pegasus again. Pegasus pretty much won us the last run. That was our best gun. Um, his best... Uh, probably the best one in the game. <laughs> this ship looks very phallic. Scanners are showing intelligent life forms on a nearby. Oh, we know how to negotiate a lot of these. Uh, I think we need to communicate peacefully, right? This is the best one. Bringing them on board to sell does not work out well on this one. Only take hull damage from fires if a power system or a system is taken offline by the fire. Okay. Hey, thank you, Duck. Girl. I learned a lot about this the last time we did it. You try and communicate in every. But they just stand there. We prepare to leave. Okay. Well, we didn't have them kidnap anyone, we didn't have anything horrible happen, and they didn't cut all of our heads off, so that's the good news. Um, are we able to... I want to get to this store. Just because if we find Pegasus, that's the one gun that we really need. We have the Burst Laser Mark II, is, which is actually one of the best guns in the game already installed on this ship. That's a real positive of this. However, it charges slowly, and we need Pegasus as well. But before that, we need more, um... Oh, look, we've already gained a shield. Oh, no, not a shield level, just a shield progress. This is going to be kind of a pain in the ass, because we are going to have to actually put out fires on this ship. I'm getting out our, um... David Hasselhoff over here. Jesus. Yeah, I kind of predicted this. This ship was going to take a beating in that first sector. Okay, Roper, you get out of there! Flee! Flee! Oh, I should have had the power distributed onto not that. Oh well. Everything will be well in time. Unfortunately, our laser has uh, weakened though. See, this ship is really gonna have a. It's gonna be a humdinger for this ship, getting this stuff ready. Jesus, this is an awful start. Oh my god, we're getting. We're experiencing way more fire than we really deserve right here. I have to the two worst people in the world repairing these things, but I need more shield experience, too. Oh my god, these guys are owning us. Well, at least our beam did something to them, and it got through one shield. Maybe we'll just work on our own shields and keeping ourselves alive for the rest of this. I don't want to lose a crew member. We got their drone down. But we're going to need to stop this bleeding pretty early on. All right, everyone back to your systems and respective positions. Except you, young money, you stay in the camera room. Yeah, sad. That ship had a lot of systems, though. This thing had, what was it, drones? It had a lot. I'm surprised that our one beam got through. Oh, we have, like, no evade. Mm, let's send Hasselhoff into the emergency room as well. And we'll charge up our burst laser. I'm surprised this thing is in. This thing just takes a very long time to work, though. Wow, well, they've already got up their other systems, too. Sad, right? Okay, young money, you get back in there. Oh, 
Jesus Christ. Oh, and then the power goes out on that thing, too. Uh, that, that ain't good. That ain't good. You know, I'm not even gonna worry about that laser. Let's just do that. What I'm starting to notice with this ship, though, is that I'm now encountering problems I never even had with my last ship. Like, in my last ship, I didn't have to think at all about, uh... About fire spreading, since it was so easy to put out fires and prevent boarding. But the way that these doors are laying out, I'm gonna need to figure that out in this run. There we are. Alright, we got a stun bomb. Not really a great offer, but it is money. And we could use that for our uh, for our store run. I'm gonna bank on this store run because I want to find something pretty good. Is there anything that we could sell though? Too we got a lot of crew members. That was pretty lucky. Stun bomb, self teleporting is both one ion damage, and this is not a great weapon for the long term. Won't be as good as Pegasus. Right, let's get uh, let's get some repair skill here. And we're going to set Hasselhoff. Do you have full health? Hasselhoff is fine. We just want to improve his repair skill because he tends to do a lot of repairing because he's moving about the ship a lot. Are we going to do a boarding run? I feel like that a boarding run would be in order only to get off of this terrible ship. Only because this ship has very bad defenses built into it as I'm seeing it now. And we're also just not getting amazing RNG to start, but we'll see how that goes. But we can't get to the exit from here or here, so we've kind of got to go this way. Let's just visit the last sectors in the best order we can. Okay, um, this is a decent bribe. I'll take that. Let's go to the store now. And we should be able to get to the store in time. Shield is probably a bad target because he's still going to take crap tons of damage. Yeah, I mean, we could go for the weapons. That could work, too. All right, we've got some uh, Zoltans here. This would be nice. Emergency respirators. Half damage from low oxygen. That could be helpful, but I think we could do better. We don't really want to run away, so I don't want to do this. This is decent, but I'd rather get the scrap collector. Uh, I'm going to sell the stun bomb because I know I don't want this thing at any point in our run. I might actually fix our hull. But I think we'd be better off just getting more shields and Zoltans. Um, we still have a lot of room for crew, and I don't like not having Zoltans on our crew. But we can always get a backup battery. Yeah, I'm thinking, uh, I would like to repair the hull, but I want to take a little bit of a risk here. We're going to go in for two shields right away. And we're going to go for one and two. This way we have a second shield powered up. And that prevents us from taking further damage. Then we will use a little bit to fix some of our hull. And I have to kind of forego the Zoltans here. I like Zoltans a lot, and I would really like to buy them, but it's still just too early on. I think that the second shield is going to do us much better. And we also got two free crewmates uh, pretty early on. Let's go send you to the med bay and just power down our med bay. All right, send back our mantis. Now, one major limitation I see with this ship is that the weapons are so far away from everything else. Usually it's an easy walk to get there, but oxygen is going to be kind of an issue. We're going to need yet an even bigger crew to keep this thing safe. I think, I think we're good now, though. Put power on the engines. Yeah, thank you. Got one more. All right, nice. Nice. Yeah, hey, Derbzilla, thank you for the sub, my friend. I appreciate it. Your sensors are picking up a distress call on an encrypted Federation channel. You eventually find a Federation scout being chased by a rebel fighter. We will aid the Federation ship. And now my issue right here is that we're so greatly relying on this whole laser, but we really don't have that much to start. This ship is kind of ass. Like, the ion beam at least fired very frequently when we used it before. That was a good beam. But this just doesn't have the same kind of magic about it. Let's go for their weapons. Just in the hopes that we'll temporarily disable them. See, now the shields are down. But at least our laser does go through... I think it's one layer of shields. One layer of shields is enough. We've got down their hull lasers, so they can't really do tons of damage to us. And now that we've got a second layer, I think we'll refrain from taking much more damage. Yeah, we'll be alright. Wait, can they even hurt us at all? Is that a Mark One laser? We might want to, uh... Actually, that's a good point. 
I'm gonna want to analyze some of these ships a little bit more closely, see if they can even... Their ship looks to be on the verge of destruction. Life sightings are fading quickly. Oh, we got a, yet another crew member. Jesus. This might be a boarding run. Look at this. We've got two mantises already. Two mantises and we've got Hasselhoff. We've got a rock and two... I mean, we could just go straight into boarding. If we managed to find that system in a store, this would be fun because I like taking on enemy ships from the inside out. That's really fun with the later ships, too. And if we have a strong crew, we could keep training them up. Ah, oh, that'll be nice. I mean, then you could just, like, keep your ship alive and then just board the enemy ship. You don't really have to invest in guns or anything like that. But then there are times when we could get our asses kicked. But it would be fun as an alternative, because I've never done a boarding run. Uh, we've got the aftermath of this. Investigate the battlefield. Okay, great. We got a Mantis ship we're fighting. Yeah, if we get boarding, I'm gonna go for that right away. Mm, can they hurt us? I think they're the same situation as the last ship. Let's just prevent them from getting away and try to kill their pilot. Yeah, what is this, uh... Like a Mark I laser? I think this is a Mark I laser. Oh yeah, because it doesn't have the two... red lines on the side, so this thing actually can't hurt us at all. That's great. Nice. Hey, that's a pretty good way to look at it. You know, analyze the enemy's guns, see if they can do anything to you. Generally, depending upon the number of shields that you have, that'll keep you safe. Yeah, I mean, I've been on this FTL kick again. I haven't played this game in so long. It just feels so good to play it. Again, we want to play aggressive here. We're just going to go for as many ships as we can in this first sector. I wish we had gotten a little bit more done because you can leave the first sector pretty overpowered. I'm going to look ahead, though, to these future sectors. On the one hand, we could go this way and go to the NG-controlled one, but I'm going to go here to the Uncharted Nebula, simply because we're going to get a lot better results. We could go straight through green sectors after this, uh, which are generally a little bit safer and more rewarding. These are kind of trickier and more dangerous, so let's just stay on the bottom path, even if it means a little bit more hardship in the short run. What is FTL? Picture, like... I'm trying to think of what what to compare. Most games, people compare to FTL. So it's kind of hard to think of what to compare FTL to now. Kind of like Slay the Spire, except it doesn't have anything to do with deck building, in a way. Yeah, it's, actually, Slay the Spire is a pretty good example of something that it's like. Yeah, I f I'm feeling like a boomer now, though, that I've... Uh, now that I'm... Now that I'm explaining FTL to other people. I remember when playing FTL was a private thing. Wouldn't tell anybody about it. I would sit inside of my Federation cruiser and play with all of the systems. You know. It's hard to see why, but this beacon is apparently a tourist. Uh, this is a terrible deal because we don't have a drone system installed. I'm going to ignore that. Is it? It's Actually, it's a pretty fair deal in terms of cost in most stores, but I just don't really like this. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like a ro roguelike real-time strategy, except that you could pause time too. It's it's nice because you can pause and think about stuff. A lot like RimWorld Save Our Ship. I think that's a pretty good example. I'll take this though, we need fuel. Oh, we really went way too far al already in this galaxy. We'll just explore the edges of the universe here. Maybe we'll go back to the store. We do have a lot of scrap and it'd be great if we could get Pegasus early on. Um, uh, again, we'll attack. Uh, let's just see. Do we have enough power on our sh The only thing that we don't have powered is cameras right now, so that's fine. But on the other hand, I'm just more excited to get the, uh, the boarding system online. Save our ship had a baby with Oregon Trail. Yeah, actually, Oregon Trail is a really good comparison here. I never thought of that, but probably going way back in time to, you know, the games of my forefathers. Um, okay, nothing wrong with that room. Yeah, Oregon Trail. Man, I miss Oregon Trail. When I was in elementary school, our computer teacher would reward us by saying, um, you can play Oregon Trail. And we would, and it was a good time. We loved it. Oh my god, this fire spread very quickly. Wow, I'm going to need all four of them in there. Jesus Christ, what are they doing to our ship? Why did I go for the shields? Hold up a second, hold up a second. They took down one of our shields. 
You know, maybe I shouldn't be powering this artillery beam. I feel like that it's not doing as much for us. Jesus Christ. It's, it sucks in this room that you can have three... Man, are we gonna lose a crew member here? It sucks that in that room you could have three spaces but four fires going on at once. Well, alas. Okay, rock. Get Dwayne the Rock in there. Get the NG in there. Get everyone in there. God, they're probably gonna get away too. Got these bastards. All right, go for the engines. Go for the engines or the piloting room. This has been an absolute fiasco the entire way. I don't like it one bit. Good. They will never escape. Uh, this is a fairly decent offer though. Yeah, they might power it up. This is a good offer. I'll take it. Th that was kind of ass. That entire battle was ass. How did they get so much through? I think it was through the, uh, through the rockets. Don't blame the arty beam for my choice to shoot their sh- That's true. That's true. But at the same time, like, I don't know, maybe we should have invested in an arty beam. Like, a, an even more powerful arty beam and just use that as our primary weapon. But I don't know if that's gonna be my long-term weapon, so we'll see. There's gonna be more seven days to die on YouTube, hell yeah. If I could help it. I love playing with Vorm. Vorm is a very nice guy to play with. Like, um... I guess there's... Like, he's, he's, he streams for a very long time. I rarely go up for more than three hours. We did about five hours that day. I was kind of, like, fading a little bit by the end because I was just, you know, at a certain point, you stop taking in information. But I, I had a really good time with him. I learned a lot more about the game. Uh, he's, he's a knowledgeable guy. He's fun to be around. He's fun to be around. He is. I like him. It's just like, uh, I, I don't know, it's, I, I feel like that's the best thing that you could say about someone, that they're very easy to be around. Like, I, I thought about this recently, I was just thinking about all my friends, and the people that I like most are the people that are easy to be around, and I think that's uh, like a quality worth cultivating in oneself, you know, to, to be a better listener, to listen better, to have larger ears. Alright, I'm just gonna, you know, expound all of my praises. No, but like I said before earlier in the stream, you know, a, a lot of the stuff that I enjoy watching is kind of more like, um, of a, of a smaller niche or a more esoteric nature. I don't really watch as much edited gameplay. What I find I enjoy watching the more I create stuff is like, uh, okay, we gotta be smart about this. Let's go in right for their, they've got drones on our ship. I kind of want to unempower, unempower, disempower that. What are their weapons? But that might also disempower the wrong drone, so let's go for their weapons. And then once we get that, we'll shoot for like their piloting. I don't think their shields will go for it all. And we'll just wait for the arty beam to uh, fire up once. That's good. I do like the arty beam. It's kind of like the wrath of God coming in when you don't expect it. That's good. We'll keep on shooting there. Let's go for their pilot now. What difficulty? We're playing on easy right now because we still suck. But, uh, it's still tough. It's still tough. Do I see myself doing any rust again? Yeah, there's a lot of different games I gotta cover on here. One thing I'd really like to do is just, like, get some viewers in on it. Like, uh, like do a Zerg. <laughs> Zergs are my favorite type of rust content to watch. I don't even enjoy watching when people get, like, all of the guns and stuff. I just enjoy seeing a good Zerg. <laughs> I think I saw some people outside of, like, a clan's base in one of these videos once. It was like a Nardo video, but they were asking for like Coca-Cola at the base. <laughs> ah, good. There goes the wrath of God. Now we are starting to collect a good, a, a goodly amount of scrap. If we go back one, we might be able to hit that store in time. But I'm thinking that it would probably be better to just take our chances, keep going through with this galaxy, and then hit a store at the beginning of the next galaxy. Okay, this one's trying to get away right away. We just gotta stop them from disappearing, so we're gonna go straight for their piloting. I don't think that there's much else that we can do here. If they do manage to jump before our laser even charges up, then we just got unlucky. And 
they did one point of damage. Let's just make sure there's no fire there. We're good. All right, um, I guess I'll go for... Well, it'll be destroyed in the next volley, probably, so we'll just do this. Looks like they've got a bomb as well. But I think that's just an ionizing stun... Uh, just an ion bomb. But that is a powerful ion. That did four ion damage to our ship. Jesus Christ. How else am I supposed to thrust myself into the galaxy besides with this? Let, yes, let all the thrusting... Get out all your thrusting jokes about... My ship is the right shape, okay? Don't, don't talk about the shape of this ship. There's nothing to see. There's nothing to see. <laughs> oh, look, right right there, uh, like, what, like, just like I said, we would get a store. Why are you lying? And it looks like we can jump faster than I thought we would be able to. <laughs> Ramming speed. <laughs> yes, this is why we're going to, you know, you could think of the, uh, the pretty obvious analogies, I'm going to say, if we did a boarding run. I will expound my crew out of the phallic shape ship onto the enemy ship and plant I'm not even gonna you I don't even need to my favorite is when you know what I'm thinking and I don't even need to say it anymore but that's dirty you're dirty why do you uh no it's not dirty it's natural it's natural that's what my fifth grade teacher used to say when someone would fart she would say it's natural it's natural Felt good, so I did it some more. <laughs> oh, God. There's nothing like elementary school, you know, when jokes aren't allowed to be funny, and then that makes them even funnier. Or really, anything in particular that's happening that's funny. Yes, yeah, and see, I would like to get a, a boarding uh, thing going. It looks like they're trying to escape. But that, see, like I said, that whole laser, it's the wrath of God. Once the hull laser, or the RD, sorry, not the hull laser, the RD beam. I keep calling it a hull laser. Once that RD beam comes out, though, it's good night. We just need to get that thing, uh, a little bit more power. But it's pretty good, you know? It's only one cost for all that. We've got cloaking here. That's really good. We might want that right now. Uh, drone control, clone bay. Clone bay we don't really want. Cloaking is fantastic, so we're going to do it. Drone control, I like. But it's probably not as good as cloaking. Neo Scavenger. Oh, like the Marvel Avengers? A wonderful game. I was actually thinking of doing some Neo today. Hmm. Alright, I'm thinking, uh, cloaking. Uh, can I, can I get your thoughts, chat? I, uh, are we, are we good on cloaking, or is this gonna be too much like our last run if I do cloaking again? Yeah, just a happy little accident. Hey, dutiful cow, thank you for the 200 bits. Good luck at work. Cloaking, are we are we in favor of cloaking? Okay, if we're in favor of cloaking, I mean, or forever hold your uh, reservations. My thing is that I, I want to be able to board and then just keep our ship safe. Yeah, how's it going? Cloaks are good for found. Yeah, uh, good. <laughs> are we going to begin now? Just everything on this ship is a phallic reference, supposedly. I'm... I'm not in favor of this. See, I did a lot of, uh, I majored in English in college. Um, not bragging or anything like that, but I'm using it as an introduction to my story, so go along with it, okay? Um, in these courses, there would always be some student who would want to talk about their relationships, like all of their relationships, in excruciating detail when no one asked. Um, anyway, such, such individuals would often, um, say that everything in the book we were reading was a phallic reference. I took issue with this because I was just like, uh, you know, it's, it's not, is the truth. <laughs> but no one would have the balls, no one pun intended, you know what pun intended, to say this in a college uh, classroom, you know, it was just like, uh, get over, I don't know. So that's why I, I don't like these references, you know, they're, uh, that's why I say at first that they're dirty, they're dirty. There's nothing wrong with it. It's only the the people that have, you know, made these things so famous. Here we are. Um, okay, that sorry, that was very tangential. Someone said that when I speak, it sounds like I'm apologizing. I was like very taken aback by this. But then I was thinking 
You know, I thought that my voice was lower than it is. You know that because you hear your voice in your own head? Uh, and it sounds cooler in your own head, so whenever you hear it on, like, microphone or anything, and I've mostly gotten over this, but I was like, damn, they're right. I was like, what am I sorry for? What am I sorry for? I think it's probably because I was, like, a worse person in my last life, and I've been reincarnated. Um, that's at least what I'm trying to, I'm trying to build up this story. What did I study? I studied, uh, English, and then at the last minute I panicked and I studied the economics. I was going to be a math major for a while, uh, because I thought that I would be able to, like, understand the world better if I did that. Why did I not use cloaking in that last battle? That was pretty stupid of me. Oh, wait, no, I, it was a boarding. No, I'm just getting kind of carried away. Hmm. But yeah, I wasn't really finding math to be very useful. Um, I just, I didn't really see the point of a lot of what I was, what I was working on. It was like, we're learning all these proofs. And, you know, there is some use for it. I took it, a but. job on the head of Old McDonald's Farm. I am the C-I-E-I-L. <laughs> oh, that's, <a> <laughs> that's great. Oh, it's a game of schlongs, eh? God bless. Thank you very much for the sub. The C-I-E-I-O. Oh, God, that was a great joke. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh god my poetry class was the opposite in college yours was a all talk about feeling. see my poetry class was like this extremely it was controlled by a bunch of maniacs my poetry course in college was wonderful well surveys of poetry courses are always um inhabited by very um and i've taken a lot of them they can be good but a lot of the time it's a milieu of like um you know, people who who could use some support. Um, I'm just, that's my opinion. That's not the truth. But workshops where you actually write poetry in the class become insanely funny. Uh, if you have the right teacher, uh, which I did. I, I lucked out when I was in college. It was one of the best creative experiences of my life. And probably the closest thing you can get to creating videos is just getting a bunch of your peers to give you feedback on this stuff. Um... I don't really want to cloak to avoid this mantis ship. I would like to fight the mantis ship. So let's go on, let's go on ahead. God, I might use that C I E I O. That was really funny. <laughs> uh, is that like a well-known joke? Like I remember uh oh, why did I cloak right there? Some of these internet jokes I don't even know. Like somebody tells me in Twitch. Now I feel like I know more memes than I was supposed to. Um, there we go. Why did I go for shields? I'm losing it now. Let's go for this. These guys aren't really gonna hurt us. Yeah, like, uh, this was like my sophomore dorm. My sophomore dorm was a crazy place. One day, we just spent the entire weekend, or one weekend, we just spent the whole time playing Mortal Kombat. If you want to lose your friends, you play Mortal Kombat with them, especially with a bunch of people who don't know how to play Mortal Kombat. It was a great weekend. <laughs> I remember one time uh, we had we had some friends over, and it was like uh, you know they brought they brought some girls. <laughs> so in like a speed run record amount of time, the Mortal Kombat was away, the Xbox was off, and everybody was like 20 feet away from the Xbox. Like I didn't touch that shit. <laughs> oh God, it w it was a really funny place to live. Oh, I do miss that. <laughs> okay, we're still going for Pegasus. Uh, it, it wasn't really like uh, I guess the. It, it sounds like a bunch of uh, what 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 we would call incels, but um, it, it wasn't really that. It was just kind of more like uh, we were slobs, you know. Was the truth the slobs? Uh, not really even nerds, just slobs. Yes, eh, I'm not gonna try to fight it. You label it whatever you want. An NG ship in the vicinity seeing you jump in and arm to the teeth to, uh... Oh, yeah, uh, hang on a second. We need, yeah, yes, yeah, surrender. Good. The NGs are very weak, sad people. Uh, and they're probably all gonna die soon, so... Yeah, we'll take all their goods. They like to help, uh, by giving everyone everything that they have. Alright, okay, you know, I think we're gonna do, 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 or something like that. Try to make that money. Your professor came into sociology class with a full dog mascot costume. 
You receive a message from a small refugee colony. This just demands such an explanation. Uh, yes, let's... Uh... Oh, they're gonna work on the ship for a little bit of metal. Okay, they'll probably upgrade. Usually this seems like a good thing. Offer to upgrade your sensors subsystem in exchange for some scrap. This is generally a good deal. Um, I'm just thinking sensors. Wait a minute, sensors. Is That's like cameras, right? Wait, is, is this worth it? Is there a re reason to skip on the distress beacon? I, I would like to get to the distress beacon. I just think we're going to run out of time. Hmm. Yeah, we'll get it. Upgraded the sense. Yep, that's it. All right, so we can see into the enemy ship. This is going to be good for boarding. We'll see if it's worth it to board an enemy ship because that's kind of the direction that we're working in here, assuming that we do find that. I don't like to run out of money this fast, but on the other hand, it is a good thing. Maybe I should go to this distress beacon, though, and just... Could we go out this way? Yeah, I mean, there's a good chance that we'll hit a store on the way out. And I'm probably going to have more time than I really think. I could always backtrack, too. Oh, shit, it's Spiff. Hey, how are you, man? Ah, oh, geez, saw you on RT the other day. Hey, thanks for all the advice, man. We got to chat soon. Damn. You got to check out some more FTL again. You know, we were talking about, like, uh... We were talking about nostalgic games. And I want to bring that back. I never realized quite that that was, like, what you're kind of getting at. Damn. Take, take a moment here. Spiff is like, my audience is like a subset of Spiffs. I mean, like, uh, the truth is that if you do an FTL video, it, you know, your channel, like, leaves the tracks that mine steps in. So, uh, you know, I would appreciate it. But damn. Uh, shall we get on with the adventure? We have, uh, we have our just very, like, shit posty named crew. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this run. But damn. Great to see you here, man. You arrive at a smoldering NG research station. Stressing, um... Okay, the energies are pretty weak, but fortunately we just got these improved sensors, so we can run another scan. Scans reveal the station's reactor is overloading, not only that, but the is... Uh, save the engine! Um... Oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, yeah! On the one hand, we're gonna be doing a lot of boarding, so we'll save the NG. Just, like, to work on our ship, because we gotta keep our ship safe. But on the other hand... Uh, the drone schematic uh, is kind of ass, so we're going to leave that. One day overtake me and do... I mean, like, I kind of look forward to this day. At the same time, channel leaves the tracks for the next... Yeah, but at the same time, I've... I'll say this, like, I'm pretty optimistic about what's been happening since I've started doing segment content. Ha like, ha uh... money. <laughs> hey, thank you, Caruso. Hey, appreciate it. Uh... But on the same time, like, as I was saying, um, you can also, uh, like, as you grow, now that we're over 300k, it's kind of like I can do a game that I've never done before, and it'll still, it'll still kind of hit, which is, uh, which is kind of nice. Right, we've got two weapons charging up. Mm, we've got a whole laser mark two and a whole laser mark one. So me thinks that we have to go on their weapon system. This will be the safest because they can actually damage us. Whence should we remove power? Well, we can just cloak whenever they're going to do something. So this is fine, as I see it. Is Space Haven any good? You know, who is it? Um. Okay, now I'm going to cloak with the two barrage. You know, I tried out Space Haven. And I didn't really get into it, but I'm thinking maybe I didn't give it enough time. Only because you guys know Mr. Sam Streamer, right? Of course you do. Uh, like, my audience is also a subset of his because he just does a lot of... Re he does the stuff I would like to do, you know? I really wish I could go on more adventures like that, and I kind of want to do more stuff like that on the VOD channel. Um, oh, God damn it! why didn't I see that? I was getting distracted by Space Haven, but Space Haven looks pretty good, though. Um, he often has, like, similar gaming tastes to mine. We, uh, our taste buds are arranged in the same way. So, uh, you know, uh, I, 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 hope that, I hope that it should come to pass that I, that I find another opportunity to play that game. I didn't give it enough of a chance. But it's good, though, you know? Like, having other people to kind of check your work off of, you, you make sure that nothing gets past you. That's one of the reasons why I like watching channels like, uh, you know, that survey a lot of games. 
Okay, you know, let's just go straight for these people's uh, piloting system so I don't miss that again. Why did I do that right there? That was bad. I thought they had fired. Shit. You know, I kind of deserve this. I shouldn't have been hit. Well, yeah, I deserve this. All right, I got screwed. Mm. Can I do a survival game sometime? We're going to be doing Neo Scavenger after this, if I can help it. I love Neo. It's like one of my favorite all-time uh, roguelikes. And it is a true roguelike. You gotta restart every time you finish this. I figured that that would be a good one to do after this. Hmm. I decided to get going medieval after one of the streams. Good game, comfy as hell. Actually, a game that has kind of got me back into single-player games. I like going medieval. My one thing is, I'm... I might need to just, like, take some time on my own to enjoy it. Because I sometimes think... Oh, God! Ship is saved with, uh, damage by the... Fuck. We have a full crew already. This guy's a good pilot, though. Ah, oh, who are we gonna get rid of? We gotta find somebody who's, uh... More ass than him. Um, hmm. I love Engies. Who is our pilot? Who is our pilot? We might have to get rid of Monica or Hasselhoff or someone like this. Hmm... Who even is our... I don't even remember. Does anyone remember who's our pilot? Did the Skyblock idea work out with RimWorld? Yes! Actually, the video's hopefully gonna be coming out today. Or tomorrow. Ah, <laughs> yes, the ship looks like a peen. We've been over this already. They already beam. Oh, is it Biden? No, I, d I don't want to get rid of Biden. He's Gia dude Biden. The one reason I want to keep the humans is because if we do manage to... Oh, yes, you're right, though. Damn. I gotta have a strong show for a boarding crew. But we could always have Young Money, Philip, and Hasselhoff board the enemy ship, and I don't really want to risk the crew's lives. Okay, you know what? Biden? Geodude? Geodude Biden, goodbye! <laughs> oh, God! Why? Zemu, isn't this guy in... What's that commercial that's always on YouTube now? Oh, no, it's Limu. What is that commercial for? That's like Liberty Mutual Insurance. What's that commercial I'm thinking of? Yes, it's a pun on the Pokemon move by. Now you see my master plan. All right, let's get everyone into the, uh, uh, uh what did we have? Obamacare. I'm, I kind of stand by this, that the, the medical bay is always going to be Obamacare from now on. All right, okay. Crew's looking good. Uh, now we gotta have Zemu in the pilots. I don't like this piloting room in the middle of the ship, but uh, very well, very well. Is it Liberty Mutual? Oh, Lee Mu for Liberty Mutual. So it's Zemu. I guess we could just have our next, um, our next ship crew be entirely in car insurance mascots. Until I'm eventually disillusioned with the world of, you know, uh, geckos and, uh, oh god. Insurance seems like it's just, you know. Well, you, you know, you, you make your own opinions. Okay, let's, uh, uh, we don't have any ship repair anywhere near us. I'm going to add another power bar. Because I think that this would be the safest thing to do. I think we just need a little bit more evade. And I don't want to risk it. What, what do you think? Do I ever play at Hydrocraft in Project Zomboid? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. like, uh, there's so many different name options. All right, let's see. Uh, hmm. Methinks go here, then here, then to the exit, or something like that. On the one hand, our ship is pretty weak, and I am worried about it. Oh, oh, oh. oh we'll win this one easy. This is a great fight for us. Yes, a splendid victory will this be. Um, now, this ship is rather terrifying, so I will wait until they've fired that laser, what looks to be Hermes right there. There we are. Okay, time to cloak. Oh, look at all of these projectiles that I've avoided. What an amazing man I am. 
Uh, ke actually, keep shooting those guys. I want them dead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, surrender. Yes, a surrender. Oh, god damn it. That has happened to me before where I accepted another ship's surrender and then I blew up in about three seconds. Very sad day. Have I ever played Star Wars Empire at War? No, but I know what you're talking about. What was that, the Star Wars RTS they came out with? That was like 2004, 2005, right? That was back when uh, Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth was uh, big. I remember playing a lot of that as a kid. Stumble across a rebel ship distributing supplies to local civilian companies, probably. Um, ooh, this is a tough one. The rebel ships are going to be strong. I actually think we're g since there is no sense of morality in this playthrough, I'm going to steal the supplies from the civilians. Uh, yeah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, a store. Hang on a second. Oh, are we going to do this store? Whoa, wait a minute. Okay. We need a vote here. All right. Question to you. I need to take... We're going to take a chat vote. Store or nor? Store or nor? N-O-R nor would be the no. Store means we go to the store and we go to the store and we get stuff. But nor means no store. Hey, schmooses. Don't. Schmooz. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. With the two months. Really? Wow, you guys- I'm surprised! I would have gone store. You guys are saying nor mostly, though. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna listen to you because you're the voice of reason the last time that I went to the store. Or the last time that I didn't listen to chat, I lost. But I- I want to. But I will f I respect you. So I'm going to go to the next sector and hope that it comes up there. We still- I mean, we're only on sector two. We would have to repair and then we would lose a lot of it. We don't want to get into any very difficult battalion here. Oh, look, we have another store. You were right. I'm so sorry for questioning you. I don't have the damage defense or hull, unfortunately. Well, we would have gone to the store. We would have repaired and so on and so forth. But what if we found a really good weapon there? We might have, It's true. We might have died. It's true. You know, you saved me from myself. What was that song? You ever find that songs just stay with you? And I won't forget the way you look. Oh, On the Way Down by, was it Daniel Cabrera? What was that guy's name? Maybe I'm just misremembering this song. Someone look that up. I don't know why, just various song references from the aughts will be all throughout this stream. You can count on that. No idea what that's... Yeah, that's- I don't know why, that's maybe because I've been in too many convenience stores in the, uh, 2000s. I was- I was raised in the 2000s. Don't want to be an American, idiot. Alright, it's time for... Secrecy. God, these cloaks are gonna get us through the rest of the game. We still haven't found a backup battery, though, unfortunately. That is quite sad. I'm actually gonna go straight for their engine only because this battle has already been going on for a long time. Young, oh sorry, Young Money sang that song. Yeah, all these sappy songs they used to play. There was a year when they would play nothing but, uh... I return. Ooh. Oh, you return. Oh, thank you, helping. Thank you, I appreciate the sub. I remember there was a year when they would play nothing but Green Day's Wake Me Up When September Ends in the in the drugstore. I don't know why I was spending so much time in the drugstore. I think that's where I had to run errands as a child. Because of all the drugs I had to buy. <laughs> uh, uh, such fun it was. Alright, uh, let's see. Uh, it's crap. Are we gonna be able to have- are we gonna have the power to destroy these things? JJ Waterboy, thank you for the sub. How am I liking the giant laser ship? Finding it very phallic. And enjoyably much so. This ship has a lot of weapons. Hang on a second. Can we talk about this? We're probably going to have to cloak when Laser Mark II fires. And we'll just have to take the hit on this thing. Because I don't think that we can really avoid uh, a teleport bomb. 
Let it hit. And... Let's just see how this thing goes. Cloak. Oh, wow. So I cloaked at, like, exactly the right moment and that thing missed. I'm not sure if it's because I cloaked or if it was just because it had bad evade. Or my ship evaded it. I think my ship evaded it, but... That is rather curious indeed. Ah, oh, God. This thing is going to destroy our ship, though. Its guns are very strong. Yeah, look at that. Okay, Philip, get in there. Uh, God, I'm really regretting getting rid of uh, Geodude Biden now. God damn, we might have needed him. Fortunately, we still have all of this Obamacare on the sh- <laughs> Oh, God, why? Wait, our laser won't even be able to penetrate that. We might have to jump on this one. Only because they destroyed that thing. Hang on a second. Let's let our already beam fire. I think... Does okay, the already beam did get through. Crap, I just missed on so much cloaking right there. I wasn't thinking straight. I think we're not in much danger now, though, so... God damn it, they keep blowing shit up. Hmm. Okay, cloak. We'll get through this. We'll get through this. Come on, Philip, you suck. Philip, you are a garbage human being. Get out of there. Go in there. Why, why are you in there? What are you even doing in there? Why didn't I assign you to a system? Oh, you're supposed to be the gun guy. Damn it, I'm really not doing this very well, am I? I'm gonna keep firing. I'm gonna keep firing only because we need only one more already beam. That was pretty stupid of me, though. I took way more hull damage than I needed to. It's because I was glad. It's because I was glad. But I, I don't want it to turn into just over-analysis. That's what I did in the last one. Go oh, analysis! There's nothing really wrong with analysis, either. Oh, you get that oxygen. Hang on a second. We need this oxygen. Well, not you. I need... Oh, my NGs are in essential systems, though. Oh, so many things to consider. Hmm. Okay. Dodge. Yes! It did miss again. Okay, good. Shoot them with the... Uh, it would be such... It would be such sad if he got away after all of this. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you have not escaped. Casual victim. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it, my friend. On the YouTube set with Project Zomboid. Hey, great to see you, too. Thank you very much, casual victim. Okay. All right. 264 scrap. I've been saving up. It's like a big piggy bank. We're getting ready to burst open. Now, ooh, a heavy laser mark too. It's tempting, but it probably won't be very good for us. So I don't think we'll use this. We need, uh, we need Pegasus. Pegasus, or at least Hermes. Why not put the, yeah, we need to redirect our power. I just need to go manage the ship after this. Automatically puts out fires throughout the ship. This might actually not be a bad thing for us. Scrap recovery arm is also fantastic, so we'll definitely be taking that. Hmm, okay, I could use your thoughts and opinions, chat. It is a big, huge gun, but does that take down two shields for each one that it goes through? In which case, this might be a viable replacement for a Pegasus. Hmm. True gamers upgrade O2 without powering it to protect against getting hit. I know not of this strategy of which you speak. Does two damage, so it should take two. Maybe Heavy Laser Mark II is really good. Charge time only 13 seconds as well. Enough crew to deal with fires. You're probably right. I'm probably making too big a deal over that. Each laser, regardless of damage, is blocked by one shield. Ah, thank you, G-Nugget. I almost made that mistake then. Yeah, ha, ha. I still think that we should go for the, um... Like, I don't think this thing is going to be bad, only because we have so much power to distribute to our... Where is it? Our guns. How much power could... We oh, it still maxes out at only eight. That's too, excuse me, that's too bad because we already have all these systems. What would be better would be to have four burst laser Mark IIs, which would be way overpowered. I, see, yeah, I mean, it's good damage, but the main thing with these ships is getting through the enemy shields. Yeah. I think um, we got to keep waiting, only because I think that boarding is more important for us. Obviously, we've got to repair the ship. 
Unfortunately, it's three each here. I was hoping it would be two, but that's not that big a deal. And we've got a scrap recovery arm, which is game-breaking. Um, we should be able to pay for a lot. What I'm thinking of doing is taking the heavy laser and then just seeing how we luck out with other systems as we go. Um, burst fire laser better than the heavy. Um, I mean, yeah, the burst laser than the uh, heavy laser for maximum damage, it does do three damage. But on the other hand, it's so much concentrated on one system. It's like, would we be better off just powering up the arty beam? We do. But the other thing, too, is that now we've got 27 bombs and we're not even making use of them. I'm probably going to buy it and then keep it in reserve in case if we do it. I also just have never experimented with this thing. And, you know, I, I do want to give it a chance because there's been things that I uh, that I didn't like. I'd prefer to find other things, but, you know, only a fool holds out for top dollar. So let's buy it. Uh, we'll also fix everything. And we have enough fuel. Hull beam. We've already got the arty beam, so I don't see this as being necessary. Let's fix all. Whatever you think of that. Maybe I should have gone for a ship system, actually. Well, it's too late now. Uh, then let's see. I still do want to buy a lot of other good stuff. But I think we might want to get a third layer of shields soon. So we'll need another... Mm, 30 or so. Uh, what is it? 20 or so scrap for that. That's fine. But now we've got the scrap recovery arm. So we should be able to upgrade our ship faster. I'm saying we go here, here, here. We're going to have to go through some nebulae. Yeah, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Weapon, Max Hardy Beam is really good since it bypasses all shields. I'm with you on that. I'm thinking even that I might just start upgrading the Arty Beam soon. But the thing is, if I find a really good weapon like a Pegasus, I won't have enough to afford it. So, um, 40 sec I mean, this is 10 seconds off each one. That's really good. We just, we need to be able to afford the power bars. All right, let's keep going. All right. My offense, my offense is lacking, but most of my upcoming scrap into beefing up my... Yeah, I, I think we need to go offense before we go defense. I always like to find the perfect weapon set before we do anything else. Besides, it's just like, look at these fights now. They've got two shields. This main laser can't really get through. We've got to prevent them from... There's a lot we got to do. I think we just got to focus on cloak. And then power up that arty beam, because we don't really have much of an offense. Okay, cloak now. That was pretty good cloak timing. The one positive was the cloak that we found earlier on. We put a lot of money into that, but I think it's paying off. I'm really seeing this boosting up our economy. Hopefully they won't hit this arty beam. But it goes... It, it, like, it shows when we go up against ships with really good offenses and missiles, you know. If they even touch our arty beam, we get in a lot of trouble. Okay, we've pretty much neutered them now, as long as we have that thing at orange. Uh, let's start to go for their... Ah, uh, we'll go for their pilot. Great. We're not really in any danger here, as I see it. And there goes the arty beam. That was fantastic. Good shot. Ah, uh, hit the wrong spot. Too bad. Their whole laser mark 2 is powered back up. Okay, and we will... Yeah, <laughs> we will dodge. Good. Oh, Roper's health isn't great. Ah, thank you for saying that. I missed that. Yeah, God, I'm not even putting my crew in the right... I just have so many crew, I don't even know what to do with them all. Jesus. What are you even here for? I might also put this guy in the weapons room, only because Roper is a human and he doesn't seem to be fixing things that quickly. And he's also really good on guns, so I don't want to take him off of that. Actually, I'm going to take him off of that. Yeah. Roper, you, you're going to need a new job. We're getting layoffs. Hmm. I will accept the surrender only because our cooldown time between weapons. i got to redistribute my crew. You guys go in there. You go there. Young Money, Roper, and Zimu. Where is Zimu? Oh, Zimu, you're a pilot. Wait, wrong job. Oh, there you are. Hang on a moment. Hang on a moment. Crew and sensors miss this. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we gotta re rework these crew positions. Let's do this to the best of our ability. I'll, um, I just bought this game because of you, and I love this game. Thanks for coming. Oh hell yeah, FTL is a pretty decent price too. I mean, you know, actually, it's fantastic price. I think they've brought it down now too. 
It's it's really way too low for the game. They should be charging everyone more money. <laughs> Roper we have as a backup guns man. Zemu, we just gotta heal. I wish there were two spots that you could keep your crew. One for healing, one for this. This was easier on the NG ship, but we have to do some management here. Zemu, you are definitely our pilot. Brecken, you are definitely our engines guy. Hasselhoff. You know, Hasselhoff, I think I'm going to put you in a room that I think will be boarding from now on. Uh, Roper, I'm going to have you be the door guy. Um, Hasselhoff, you stay over here only because there's not a lot of crew here, and if there's a fire, I need somebody more than Phillips to take it out. Phillips is going to be our new gun guy. I'm going to take Roper off of it, only because I think that this is like the last chance to do this. This is a position that's upgraded fairly quickly. Um, and we we would prefer to have an NG on these essential systems, only because they repair really fast. Hmm. I think it's good to have him here. Actually, I'll put him on cameras right now, just so that we could get a little bit more of a buff off of him. Young Money, I've already got somebody in Oxygen. We'll leave my him in Cloaking. Game and my favorite amphibian. Hello. Oh, hey, just Nighty, thank you very much for the T3 sub. Jesus Christ. I appreciate that. We're working on the uh, sub badges right now. I'm or I'm I'm trying to brainstorm on what I would like, so I will try to do something better for you. It must be the best. <laughs> but actually, we've got new emoji. I'm really happy with how the new emoji came out. Um, they're amazing. I, I will let you know. I'm I'm thinking they'll probably be ready. I'm really excited when I saw what the artist did. Um. Okay, I think after this fight, we will upgrade our RD beam. Just because it doesn't seem like we're getting any other weapons, and that seems to be the best thing that we have. We're going to go straight for these people's weapons, because they look somewhat frightening here. Uh, actually... Nah, we're gonna go for engines. No escape. And then we'll cloak whenever they do some... Why would you board this ship? That is a horrible idea. There's so many people on this ship, and they're all more powerful than you. Actually, let's go for this. I'm going to let that hit because I'm more scared of the bomb. Okay, cloaking. Their bomb is out. Their bomb has missed. I think I can dodge those bombs with cloaking, which is somewhat surprising. God, their crew is going to die. This was just a waste of Felicity. Felicity can come join our crew. She's a sad, strange little woman. Oh, great. And the ion beams have... ...really effed up everything on everybody's ship. Uh, did we lose... We didn't lose a crew member. No, we just lost vision there. No, you stay in there. Uh, Philip, you go in there. You learn to repair some stuff, Philip. We should have named him after, like, Scotty Kilmer or someone like this. Yeah, he could really repair the ship. You know, we could buy a used ship, get a good deal on one. Yeah, I want to get out of this fight. This is not too particularly good. Didn't take a lot of hull damage, but that wasn't great. Uh, somebody on cameras. Yeah, we got Hasselhoff on cameras over there. He loves the cameras. Don't you like Hassel Hasselhoff? He's, uh, he was born to be a cameraman. How are the podcast plans going? I have the channel name. I'm workshopping it. I'm thinking of calling it the Amphiba News Network, and I have a really nice avatar. It looks really corny. Um, I don't really know what to do with it, though. You know what's crazy is that the more I, more, the more stuff I make, the more I realize I just enjoy talking it out with you folks. And uh, I, I'd say that the beginnings of these streams are my favorites. Um, it's good. It's good, because I didn't always... Uh, oh, God, the oxygen is down. Wait a minute. It's gonna, it's gonna come back, right? I just want to give us some time. The ship is in danger, so I can't upgrade anything. Alright, before the next one hits, let's just get the hell out of this sector. Full speed ahead. Beam me up, Scotty. God damn it, another fight. Uh, oh no! Sorry, they don't want to fight us. Or did I accidentally press a key? Well, whatever I did. Okay, what we're gonna need to do next is, uh, arty beams. 
Only because we can't find any weapons. Are there- is there anything- There is a store way over there, but we're never gonna get to that store, and we do need more weapons before we get to the next sector. Our, uh, our burst laser isn't really cutting it. Could put the energy to more weapons, but w what do you think? Should we power up Heavy Laser Mark II, or should we just give more power to the arty beams? Methinks we need the arty beams, but actually, come to look at it, this could be pretty cheap as well. But I need three power. I'd probably use up all my scrap. Mm, heavy laser is better, unless I can get the arty beam to max. That's true, the arty beam, unless if it's max, might be good. But the arty beam is also cool. It's so cool. Arty beam is funny, but weapons is better. Probably because we can control what we're destroying. I'd say that the cloaking is going to keep us alive for a while now, though. Okay. Me thinks, um, me thinks... He thinks we're going to be using weapon power regardless of what it is, whether it's the already So we're going to want this one way or another. We can't live off entirely off of bread alone. So we'll just do this. One, two, and three. I need all three. Yeah, because we're not going to do much more without that heavy laser. Laser. Can I take power away from other things? I could take power away from this, or I could, uh, this is not using power up. This is where I would request a Zoltan. Can we have a Zoltan? We don't need oxygen at all. We don't need oxygen at all. Oh, is oxygen only for refilling the cabins and what? Like, they don't use it. Is that another way to micro this game that I don't understand? You only need it sometimes when you're... Refilling the ship. But look, the oxygen is draining, though. Don't we need oxygen most of the time? I guess we could turn off the oxygen momentarily at the beginning of the battle, but I also want to have... The That's also kind of taking your crew's life into your hands, don't you think? What, are you some kind of maniac? <laughs> nah, you are you are crazy person. Crazy people t giving me advice. Nah, I'm just giving you a hard time. Yeah, if, well, I mean, you know, if our O2 gets ionized in the fight, we just, we could lose everything immediately. Why do I say O2? O2! <laughs> mm, left or right? Left or right, so many questions. Oh, what we could do is power down the arty beam to get more, uh, power. Uh, search those, uh, uh, yeah, let's look for some stuff. Okay, four damage to the hull, but that was worth it. Yeah. We made up more than it will take to- Oh, Vormithrax, how are you, my friend? I was just speaking high praises of you. What to do when the space zombies show up? Ah. Oh, we were thinking of doing a boarding run. Are you an FTL person? Ah, goddamn. A pleasure to have you in ass. Only Vorm will know what that means. Um, I hope he- I hope he gets my reference right now. <laughs> I have a Discord server some of, for some of my friends called ASS. Um, it's an acronym. <laughs> uh, it's probably my favorite thing that I've ever created. Uh, all right, let's see. Um, why are these engines just garbage? God damn it. You just take me to the exit. I don't like this place. Let's get out of here. Hey, Supreme Maverick, you're going to light, light, uh, guide me here. Played about an hour many years ago. Ah, it's always worth a, a look back. I got back into it because I saw Quill playing it. Mm. All but the one crew type needs o oxygen to survive. Are we giving them oxygen right now? Why is everyone wheezing on the board the ship? There we have that. Uh, let's give it more power. We're going to need one more power to power the laser. Uh, though we could just get rid of all of our evade. Or micro the oxygen in the next fight. Yeah, the next sector, please. NG controlled. This ship isn't as powerful as I would like it to be, but we're still doing fine. Hmm. Yeah, what we should do is an oxygen-less run soon. Get it? Ox oxygen not included. <laughs> oh god, that was a great joke. Mbaus Amphibian. Hey, thank you for coming out, Vilizzi. Appreciate it. Have I thought of playing Stars? Ah, Star Sector is another one of those ones. Hmm. Consider you pairing, uh, simply firing on the enemy. Use your cloaking to disable the system. 
Yeah, let's do an NG. NGs are always good. Ooh, a lot of money. That's why we named one of our crew Young Money. I'm gonna visit this store simply because I might not have another chance, even if it means we won't be able to get to the other distress beacon. I just, I gotta know what's in here. If I see Pegasus at this store, it's gonna be very much worth it. Okay. It was meant to be, friends. It was meant to be. I like hacking, but I think that the crew teleporter is more key here. Are we ready for some crew teleportation? Are you ready to go over... St Are you ready to apparate onto the other ship? I think we're gonna do crew teleporter. Tell oh, no, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Only because we have such a good boarding crew. We have a rock and we have two mantises. They would do so much damage to the ender to the enemy ship. My boarding is bad. Oh, when we get cloning. Well, we'll get a clone bay too then. I just want to try it. I thought we were all in favor of it before, so I'm going to go through with it. Perhaps only as a backup though too. Reaches through the enemy hull and randomly I it. This is quite good. But it also requires a lot of power. Clone bay. Uh, there isn't a clone bay, but I don't have that option. If I get the option of clone bay soon, then I will. I feel like it's 90 it was meant to be. Let's do it. Med bay works. Though, one question. Does your crew, only because I haven't done this in a while, do they teleport back when the enemy ship is destroyed, or do they die in the enemy ship if you destroy the enemy ship when they're on board the enemy ship? Med bay works for teleports. You just have to make sure you watch your borders. Mm-hmm. They die? Oh, you got an evac? Oh, that adds a lot more micromanagement to it then. Ah, I was of the thought that it was the other way around. Okay, then this is becoming perhaps a little bit more complex than I had given it credit for. Uh, huh. Oh, that's why you would do clone. That's why you would do clone. That way they can come back if they don't get teleported back. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, the teleport does have a... Uh, the thing is, you'd probably have to stop firing at the enemy ship if you did that. But I'm so confident in our crew. This will probably get me killed, but I think it's fun, and I'm going to do it for the sake of fun. Have I played FTL? I've played a lot of FTL before, but not not that much. How much FTL have I played anyway? I think I'm at like 50 hours now, but it's a lot of it's been a year. I'm gonna let uh Philip My god, Philip is losing health really fast without oxygen. How do you like that, Philip? How do you like living without oxygen? You know, I was reading about what would happen to you if you uh, were in a vacuum for 15 seconds. Apparently in 15 seconds, uh, you would die, or something like that, if you were in a vacuum of space. I was reading about this simply because the next RimWorld series is going to be in space. Um, and I was just wondering, like, what would happen if your body were thrust out into space? Um, generally, if you're boarding, it's better to either break important systems or killing the entire crew with... Cloning, you can just blast the ship while your crew distracts them. So we'll aim for cloning as well, if we can get it. Um, we had the option before, we might not get it again. It's starting to seem a bit more expensive than I had really given it credit for, but I want it as a last option. I mean, ideally we would have gotten better weapon systems, but eh, I'm having fun. Yeah, I mean, now that I've beaten the game, my, my main priority is just kind of fun now. I'm like... Just to see what kind of wacky stuff I can do with the game. Uh, let's see. I don't mean that you're, like, getting in the way of my fun. I just mean, like, uh, I don't know. Well, actually, generally speaking, when I've followed what chat told me to do, I had more fun. <sighs> now I feel bad. Yeah, Derelict, it's gonna be like, um, it's gonna be like a Skyblock run in RimWorld, kind of. Open interior doors when fixing a hole so the room doesn't have 0%. Oh, I hadn't thought of that, Captain Slip. That the oxygen will go... Oh, I thought of the oxygen... On the, that is a... You are a level 2 thinker. Okay, we have got so many missiles. 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 We have so many missiles. <laughs> so many missiles. Oh, God. Well, we've delayed the fleet. We might as well go for all these distress beacons. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have spent all that money. Yeah, well. We will attack them. Now, let's... Can we win this fight? 
my f other fear is sending our crew on and them just getting killed. Like I've done that a lot. It's been I've had some pretty awful battles in this guy in this game, guys. I'm gonna be honest here. Let's uh, power up our second heavy laser. We're going to shoot there. These take about the same amount of time to load up, so that's good. Uh, we will shoot one at their this, and one at their this. And then we'll cloak once they fire at us, because these three weapons seem to have about the same loading time, which is fantastic. Uh, their crew are on board our ship. You will never defeat us. And... We will use the missiles. Now, what is that? What kind of gun is that? Is that a, like a very powerful ion? I'm wondering why it's yellow and not blue. I don't have the flagship yet. I'm gonna wait for the other ones to fire though. I'm not as worried about these. Cloak. Everything missed. That was great. Okay, Zimu, get the hell out of there. I don't know why I left you in there so long. <laughs> Go, Limu! <laughs> I can't get through the rest of this without thinking about Liberty Mutual Insurance now. Oh, Jesus. What am I gonna do? Yeah, just keep shooting in... Actually, keep shooting in that room to just kill their crew. Oh, fantastic. Ah, uh, yes. They're all dead. Oh god, why did I let that happen? No, Limu! Thank god you were alive. Uh... Oh, what am I gonna do now? Come on, their ship is just ass, though. This ship is... Yeah. Good. Down with their ship. Alright, we'll get that oxygen back up in no time, Captain. This is a ship that you could easily kill with board. I mean... At the same time, I, I just, I know that I am not managing my boarding very well, so I am, I am wary of my own lack of intelligence here. I think I'm going to go for the Distress, then this, then the Store to see if we can get a better weapon set, only because I tend to play this game far better with upgraded weapon systems. What we need is more power, but I don't want to waste the money. Yeah, I'm just going to go through it. We're going to have some hard ship right now, but it's fine. Uh, everybody back to your rooms. Very good. Okay, now... I will put this... Mm, we're probably gonna have to just keep unempowering our... Honestly, the arty beam is not even as important here. That's better. Okay, let's go to distress, and then one more thing, and then the store. Hmm. After the beam, them aboard our ship. Uh... Oh, hi. Or my cat is, he comes in around this time of day. It's all right, you, you sit over there. Sorry, it's the Amphibicat. Hmm. Hardship now, easy. Power, I mean, we could do the, oh, we could do the, oh, God damn it! Uh, he's drinking my water. You ever get this, when your cats get old, he, uh, he just drinks, he likes to drink human water. Like, he doesn't drink the water we give him anymore. You know, like, it just seems like uh, he enjoys eating it, uh, drinking it out of a glass. Like, he's got these, uh, kind of stuck-up tastes now. Like, what, you don't like drinking water out of a bowl? He's a hell of a guy, though. A hell of a guy. Yeah, let's go here. Can't really go back, so let's go straight to the store. Yeah, it's like an old cat thing, you know? They, they like to gamble on horse races, and they, uh... And they... No, you're doing fine. Yeah. Homeless has a decent breeze chance. Normal damage to shield piercing fire. Um. Oh, God. Decisions here now, though. I am not a big fan of the flak gun. A lot of people love the flak gun. If I had a bunch of them, I would do it, but I don't. Nah, I should... I, honestly, I don't do anything with Instagram. Maybe I'll put the cat on there. I like... This is only two required power. This is a shorter reload. Normal damage three, normal damage two. Hermes is better, but Hermes is really expensive to power. I think we want to go for Hermes 
which is better than Hull Missile, or Pegasus if we can find that. Sell my kidneys for the flak. I mean, so many people really like- I like flak if we could get, like, four flak guns. <laughs> my message above for the flagship fight. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for Hermes. I'm just gonna keep Hermes. It's not my preferred one, but it's all right. Uh, let's see, we could do a little bit more fuel, but I think we're just better off with ship upgrades. Okay, at least I know that. I'm gonna buy more power, just because I feel like I'm managing too much between different systems now. Uh, we could start to shoot this instead of the heavy laser. I think it shoots only, what is it, one missile? This is why I like uh, Pegasus better, because it shoots two. Let's get that. And I'm thinking here, like, we want to start to think about evade, only because we're going to be starting to get hit with more missiles. Let's just assume that we're not going to find another weapon. I want to keep building this ship the best we can with what we've got. I mean, it is a good ship-killing combo. We've got Hermes, Heavy Laser, and Burst Laser. This is kind of like what we had in the last fight. Um, albeit, we had something... I think we had an Ion instead of Heavy Laser Mark II, but having two lasers is always good. Um... Our ship is in good condition, but we could easily lose condition from a number of things that happen. Let's go with... A little bit more evade would give us a lot more dodge. We won't be able to power it pretty quickly. Okay. Alright, let's just jump. We'll keep powering up our ship. We'll keep making improvements to it as we go. Well, but we'll wait till we get to another store. And these guys are trying to get away immediately. Uh, this is bad might honestly board this ship. Could we win this fight? I think we could. We're gonna beam into their weapons section so that we power down their weapons. Let's do this. Power up. Oh, but we could beam only two at a time. I thought we were gonna get up to four. That's kind of ass. And I don't really want to risk my crew. They managed to jump with our crew on board. We, lo Yeah, we'll probably lose our crew if they jump with them, too. Yeah, so this is kind of too dangerous. Let's go in with... This is the reason why I like the crew for, like, the last battle on the, uh, on the flagship. Yeah, all right. Okay, so let's just do cloaking. We'll fire out their weapons. We just kind of want to, again, neuter their ship. Uh, oh, no, nah, I'm not thinking right. We'll do that. Yeah, you, you had some water. You're having a good time. Okay, uh, heavy laser. Eh, you know what? Let's just use up Hermes. I like this. Let's do that. That's good. Alright, and we'll power up our cloak when the time comes. When the time comes. Too funky. Thank you for the sub, my friend. Appreciate it. Come on, it's taking, it's taking too long. Cloak. Ah, uh, it's so nice to be able to dodge those missiles. Great job. Oh, that's why I like Hermes. Okay, let's turn off her, um... Turn on the laser, turn off Hermes, and then just focus everything on their engine. Hey, Batsagazeech. Bat Thank you for the sub, my friend. Appreciate it. Yes. Yes. Good. Good. Um, these need to be firing in unison, though. I just realized that this is only two lasers and not three. All right, we will wait to power this one up. Let's let it go with the, along with the other one. There we go. Okay, now these two will fire in unison. It will be like a ballet of lasers. Mm, they have hit two of our systems. That's not good. 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 But we can't disempower. Ah, this is why I need an ion. I need an ion for this ship. Okay, our ship is in peril. Great peril. But let's send you out here. We gotta power up our med bay. We don't even need to do that. David Hasselhoff, save us! Save us, Hasselhoff. Don't hassle the hop. There you are. Thank you, David Hasselhoff. What a great choice you were aboard this expedition. You get in there. Is anyone else going to die? 
We don't want to lose a crew member here. It's so fragile. So fragile. Hi. He needs to be pet constantly. Only the Mantis style ships have four big teleports. Though, so you can turn auto fire off and. Yes, that's true. We could get the auto. I should have done that for that fight. The thing is that these. I was thinking that Heavy Laser Mark II was firing three for some reason for much of that fight. Oh well, alas. It's good now. You go in there, you go in there, and you go in there. I don't know why. When I when I don't turn on auto fire, I often just don't think about it. It's kind of like trying to control three puppets with one hand. I'd say that's that's probably the closest feeling that I can compare it to when you're in an intense FTL battle. No, I, I appreciate the back seating in FTL. It's it's much appreciated. That sounded like sarcasm, but it wasn't. Um, how is our moreover? How is our weapon charging coming? Because Phillips, we put on here. We took Roper off of weapons. This was my one major regret. But at least we have another guy that we could use for that. I'm kind of regretting this boarding thing now, only because I thought it was more that we could have. I thought we could have four people boarding at once. But if it's only two, that's kind of ass. Maybe there's other ships that can get better boarding. Or maybe it's like the order in which we install systems. Let's do... That. We don't really need the evade as long as we have the cloak, though, as I see it. Let's just keep hoping that we find that weapon. Oh, Mantis ships have four slots? That's crazy. Okay, we got the beam. Yeah, let's use that. System repair drone and tons and tons of scrap. We're getting way more of this scrap now that we have this scrap arm. Could start to think about end game here. Let's visit these last few sectors over here. There we go, one, two, three. Might be able to visit three before we exit, but let's try it. See how many we can get to. Um, okay, use the NG crew member. Any kind of blue text is always good. We have a very varied crew. Do we have one of each race? Not sure. Sorry about the specialty. Uh, offer to upgrade your reactor in exchange for this is a good deal. Yes, we'll take it. Good. We have more power. Um, I think that's good. Might honestly just put a little bit more on a va uh, or you know maybe shields will be next. Now that we have cloaking, we could just go straight for shields. I don't think we're going to be able to. Uh, this is going to be kind of iffy. Can we really? I literally have to use my fingers to see if I can get through this. I think we're just barely going to be okay to go to both of these sectors. So help me God, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take every risk I can. Yeah, I'll be good. I'll be good. <laughs> Alright, uh... These, ooh, these guys are strong. Is that Pegasus on their ship? I want to steal that. It must be mine. It must be the best. Mm, two shields. Yeah, this is fine. What just fired at me? No, I'm okay. But we have an Ion Moon here. This is very dangerous indeed. We could get our asses kicked. I'm gonna chance it and wait, though. All right, let's give it a shot. Please don't buy- oh, good, they- good. I didn't love the system that they ionized. You know what, I'm going to accept this offer because I really don't think that this battle is going to go too particularly well for us. Very good, very good. <laughs> the SS Peen. Oh good, we did have another jump. Fantastic. Arrive at the long range beacon. Uh, don't really need the drone parts. We need the fuel. Okay, we won't be getting a fight. We don't have a lot more time, though, before this final fight. If I could get uh, Pegasus instead of Hermes, I think that's really my last upgrade that I'd want. This is a weird place. We have a lot of money, so we'll go to the store. <laughs> is that how rich people <laughs> wake up and... And they, they think, hmm, I have a lot of money. I'm going to go to the store. 
Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, ooh, this is very good. This is also very good. These are two of my favorite upgrades. Oh, Pegasus. There you are. I love Pegasus. My favorite weapon. My favorite weapon. I like this better than the other one because it's more missile efficient and we can pretty much use missiles in every single fight up till the end. It's not quite as powerful as Hermes, but it fires two missiles, so as long as they both hit, we're fine. Oh, Frabjus Day. Oh, Kalukale. Anti-bio- this is an interesting one, though. Um, kills everyone. Could be useful in the last fight, but I think Pegasus is more universally useful. We will use this- actually, the cha laser char- this is great. We used this in our last fight. Do we want to get this instead of the, uh... I mean, if we can afford it... Yeah, I mean, it's only five seconds and we get more options. This is kind of like our last build, which was extremely overpowered. I think get rid of the heavy laser, replace it with the charge laser. Get rid of Hermes and replace it with Pegasus. Are we with me? Shop is- this is the best shop I have ever been to in FTL. This is great. Any advice for building strength in Project Zomboid? It's a long run. I would just turn up the experience multiplier. It takes like years to do it the other way. Yeah. Um, do you, you guys think that the heavy laser is better? But I feel like just having more late. well, let's just see. Tie, second for second. Shots per charge, two, but 13 seconds. So that's, you know, um, six and a half seconds per shot. But this one's only five seconds per shot in a way. It has less shield punch through yet. So my main concern is getting through shields because if you can't get through shields in the first place, I'm g we could do a full laser build too, but we have 42 missiles right now, so I don't want to waste those. Me thinks this. Let's get... I know that I want both of these in my life. I also know that I'm going to want automated reloader on my ship too. This is very good. I also think I want the shield shard booster. I know we're uh, low on money now. I don't want Hermes. Hermes is good, but this is... I know it takes more time to charge, but this thing is just so good because it shoots two missiles. And if we can't have two of them because it's, just, it's a lot. Heavy laser mark two is good. We don't want our system repair bot because we don't even have a drone system. Or I'm not going to start barking up this tree yet. What I might do is save both of the, um... Hmm. The charge laser is more expensive. That doesn't really change my mind, but in the game's thought, it is better. I like a lot of lasers, guys. Pegasus, definitely. Yeah, I think Hermes... I just don't want to give myself the temptation to use up this many missiles at once. I think, first off, we gotta do that. Should we sell... If we sell Hermes and we have these four, and then we could choose which ones to have on or offline, See which ones are better. Let's do that. Let's just make sure we can afford that system. Good. So we will still be able to afford the shield charge booster. Uh, booster. I'm going to sell Hermes. And I'm going to buy the shield charge booster. And then I'm going to repair one whole point worth of damage because I don't have much money left. We'll see which one of these wins out. They're both three required power. And they could really differ fight to fight. Okay, I think we are now at full weapon system upgrades. Like, I am happy with what we've got. Happy. Completely happy. All right. May as well do that because I... Uh, no, man, I really miss those NG med bots. Hmm. Use Hermes and save missiles until boss. Yeah, we could go full... Mm, we could have gone full missile for the boss. That's true. But I think the shield charge booster is more imp uh, I might regret this. Mm. I mean, we'll be fine for the boss. Probably gonna die at the boss. <laughs> Maybe I'll regret that later on. Power to phase- yeah, take down the shields and then blast them. My thing is, I like to take out their uh, missile compartment right away. Alright, we're gonna fight this guy just because the more fights we can do, the better. You wanna make yourself fighting hardy. Hmm. 
we have an ass load of missiles and Pegasus doesn't really use up that much, so I'm going to use Pegasus to shoot their weapons. And then in fact, mm, now we're going to need to power up the weapons more if we want to do this. We'll dodge them with our, uh, with our blah blah blah, and then we'll use this. The thing is that this burst laser is kind of useless right now. Eh, let's just try firing Pegasus. Idiot. Yeah, he's gonna die. Alright, now just keep an eye on their ship and hope that they don't, uh, hit us. That's fine, we can tank that. My god, that thing is kind of badass. What the- Wait a minute, missiles can hit a- I was cloaked. Wasn't I cloaked? Can a missile hit me when I'm cloaked? I want my money back. How did that even happen? I am surprised. I am surprised, to say the least. All right, we will shoot Pegasus at their... Eh, yeah, let's shoot at their pilot now. First laser's not even gonna get through. There's no point in firing it. You are teleporting back. Stupid head. I'm gonna keep Philip on the oxygen only because I want him to get better at repairing. I know it's gonna take a while, but it'll be worth it. They're getting their systems back on the line. Pegasus, go! Yeah, I'll take it. It's pretty good. Cloak is not auto miss. It gives it massive. Oh, I did not know that, Supreme. So then we should probably up our evade. I did not know that, so we have only 84%. Oh, I missed that as I was cloaking. So then it was just a very rare hit that they got on us. All right, well, at least I know. I thought I was completely safe. I'm thinking we're good. Philip, you might want to go get some, uh, some Obamacare in there. All right. Yeah, he loves that. I miss Geodude Biden, too. It's okay. All right, let's, uh... Let's keep jumping out. And we'll go to the exit. I was thinking is, uh, you know, now that we have these full weapons, I think I'm gonna take a, make a little investment in our evasion now. Only because the first few levels really do up your percentage. Hmm. I'm gonna be completely safe with a bit more engine power. Yeah, we, we do need engines. We do need engines. Then we can, oh, we can push it over 100. Well, that is very good to know. I thought we could only, I thought it was like diminishing returns as you go up higher. All right, very nice. Ship leaves you, uh, empty space. Uh, we can just completely avoid this nebula. There we are. We are also running out of fuel, which is not good. We are going to need to buy some fuel, but we haven't had to buy really any fuel so far. Uh, we've got only two shields on this ship. I think we are going to need a little bit more weapon power before we do anything else, too. Only because I don't like using Pegasus so liberally in these fights. Uh, I don't know what that is. Is that like some kind of Gatling gun? Look, they're going to fire their Squidward at us. That's fine. That's also probably fine, but I think we can avoid this. With that, now we have 89% dodge. Fantastic, great. have those types. Uh, actually, I'm gonna fire this at... Oh! Two misses. My ass two misses. My ass. My ass. My ass. If you say anything enough times, it just starts to sound weird. Mm, yes, fire the first laser at them. Why do I... Why, why do I slip into these things? Cloaking. That's fine. Yeah, you see the thing is I'm using Pegasus like a regular weapon in fights. Oh, I keep forgetting that we have this... Conveniently enough that we have this, uh, Artie laser. I swear to God, the Artie laser is gonna fire the finaling... The, the finaling... The final blow at the enemy ship. Dastardly Dave! D just dastardly Dave. Thank you for the sub, my friend. This thing, I swear to God, it's like the will of God. It's like a miracle. Yeah, party laser. Party laser. <laughs> 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 
You remember Party City? I think Party City is still around. It reminds me of that. I'd like to get one more power on our weapon so that we could go through these fights with like a heavy laser and a charged laser. Just not wasting a lot of resources, only because I don't want to use up this many missiles. We need a surprising amount of missiles for the last fight. Urban Ghost, thank you for the sub, my friend. Appreciate it. Much appreciated. Hmm. Okay, more system power to our weapons. Yes, more power. Now we can do things like this. Or actually, this is better for our money, because then we just have so many lasers. I mean, pardon me. Pardon me, miss. But I love lasers. Now, I know that we have more weapons that we can really sustain on here. Oh, I didn't even need that. That was pretty dumb of me. All right, well, we'll make use of it somehow. Do we need more power? We could use evade. I don't have enough for evade, though. Let's just keep moving. We're doing good. We're doing good. It's like a party whenever it shows up. I'm not going to trade. Only because we're really low on fuel. Look at how much fuel we have left. They'll probably try to give us like a system upgrade or something, but we already have all the system upgrades. I think this is one of those events we just need to pass up, unfortunately. We need a store and we need uh, gasoline. Shoot the ship out. There's still no gasoline. Let's go to this distress beacon. I'm keen on getting some fuel before we get out of this sector. Heavy laser two syncs up better with the burst laser two. Yeah, maybe you're right. Stress beacon on the surface of a moon. I think I know how to... Um, I think that this guy is crazy. Can I just get your... Who knows FTL? Which option is better here? One or two? I think we leave the man to his ravings is the better one, right? Mm, yeah, two. Two. Is it a 50-50? Two would be safer, though. Oh, is it chance-based? So there isn't always a good one? Ah, uh, I see. Sometimes one is right, sometimes... Let's just leave him there. Yeah. Go, uh, die. Alright, there we are. Um, I would need 190 if I really wanted to get the full weapon set that I wanted, so... I'm thinking let's go with some more... See how much more money we could get. I, I need fuel before I do anything else. Oh shit, did I have enough fuel to get out of here? Or, I mean, are we gonna hit the, uh, bad people? Well, let's, let's just see. You know, you guys, you do it your way, but you could have it your way at BK. So, you go to the BK. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the game this way. Yeah, I'm starting to feel like that this teleport was just totally useless. They're gonna mess these guys' ship up. Uh, I could, actually, asteroid fill would've been better. Damn it. It's totally, I totally blanked right there. I will avoid this one, though. Alright, let's go for, um... Take him out in, like, one hit. Their shields are just gonna be on and off the entire time. Yeah, we'll do that. Wow, that was a legendary miss. Atrocious. Pegasus. Just give me a Pegasus round. Damn, that stinks. Okay, um, uh, yeah, doing fine. Mm, apparently this re event- Oh, it's a risky event? Mm. Oh. Mm. What do we do there? Okay, he's gonna give us some fuel. I'm alright with that. We might not get fuel if we- Damn it, see? Look, if only I jumped like two seconds later, he shot a missile at me. Sorry. Just shot a missile at you. Would you like me to surrender? Jesus. Yeah, teleport, I'm thinking for the last fight. You know, like the very last one, maybe. Rebel checkpoint is monitoring the location. Blah, blah, blah. Um. Hmm. Rebels. So we will have to fight the rebels. The rebels are quite strong, but I'm not really afraid of them. Let's fight them. Yeah, oh god, they are kind of stronger than I thought they would be. Let's go for Pegasus. And methinks... 
me thinks charge laser. No, no, heavy laser. We'll fire Pegasus. Uh, it's going to be a little bit delayed. There's so many different ways that you could go about this. But let's take down their shields, and then we'll go in with the heavy laser on, like, their weapons. Or something else that they also need. Don't care about that, but we will want to dodge that Hermes. Jesus Christ. It's like Moby Dick passing by the ship whenever that happens. Oh, what did I do? Oh, they had a drone. Oh, their drone is randomly creating a shield. Oh, okay. Andrew, my friend. Hey, thanks for the sub. How are you, my friend? Good talking. Happy to hear that you're back uh, back in your family. Um, Pegasus, the shield... Uh God damn it. We gotta take down their drone. Yeah. Uh, guys, I'm I'm gonna agree to disagree here. I'm gonna do this. Charge laser. This heavy laser is not gonna get through. We're gonna need to fire this charge laser. Char can we call the charge laser charge, Izard? Yeah, look, there goes another shield. Look, it adds it onto the ship. That's a pain in the ass. God damn it. Uh, you know, just do this. I totally mismanaged this fight. Because of charge, Izzard. It's a stupid drone thing. I don't want to jump. We can win this. That drone... This drone, man. Jesus Christ. Just see what happens when we shoot a bunch of missiles at him. Mm, go for the... Compartment. Okay, their missile is about to strike us. I am cloaking right now. Okay, oh good, the party beam got in there. Good, I like that when the party beam gets a hit. Mm, good, there's a lot of fire in there. I'm just gonna wait on this one. Let's wait for charge and burst layers here to fire together. Or not, and say we did. Let's keep the harassment up on their piloting uh, spot. Good. They're trying to power up their FTL, but they probably won't be able to get away. Let's just keep firing this little charge so that it takes down, like, one shield. Good. Good. Come on, party laser. We gotta power that thing up more. We need Zoltans, man. I think they're gonna get away. Yeah, these guys are gonna get away. Yeah, it's... They had too many systems on here. What sucks is that we might actually hit the fleet at the very end. Let's see if we can just fire like two at once. Damn it, that thing is hard countering me. Shit, yeah. They got away. It was close. Well, at least we got away. Damn. Damn. That took a lot of focus. Have returned. Literal first subject. Oh, we're getting new, uh, we're getting new sub, uh, well, we're getting new emo, uh, getting all kinds of new stuff. We gotta fix, gotta fix up this stream. You know, take it in the right direction. All right, let's try that. Let's try opening this door. There we go. Have some oxygen. You love oxygen. Yeah. Great. There they go. Nice. Targeting the shields is, I mean, targeting the shields is good. Like, it's good in the medium term to target the shields, but in the really short term, it's like, you know, you've got to take down their weapons. I don't know. It's, you know, everybody kind of plays FTL their own way, and I, that's one reason why I like it. There's no one perfect... Like, if there were one perfect way to play, it would have gotten old to me by now. Yeah, I could have used Pegasus. Really, I should have used Pegasus more in that fight. Damn. If I could turn back time, I would have... We just need this gunman, Phillips, to get better with, you know, guns. A little bit, I'm thinking, arty beam. Like, that would just be that extra oomph that we would need. Okay, uh, we're gonna be kind of isolated at this store, but at least we'll get more fuel. Yeah, FTL, I mean, you know, I, I don't want to just be like, ah, oh, you know, I'm losing. I'm, my play style is different, but I'm, uh... <laughs> 
Everybody is different. We'll buy all of the fuel because that's not really a lot of it. Might as well fix our whole. Sh uh, actually, we're going to be getting a repair the next sector. Do I want this? Let's just look at what systems we want to upgrade first. So, we know that we need to get full weapon upgrades before we get out of here. Like, well, we, we would be pretty remiss if we didn't do that. So, I'm going to do that. We've also got plenty of power that we could still do. This doesn't really matter. We're going to want to get up our evade. And then anything less that we get is going to be on, like, shields and the party beam. I think we're going to need a third shield because you really can't go without that. So let's just do that. That looks pretty good to me. Three shields. I'm feeling safe. We're protected. Keep going. See if we get a lot of scrap here. Our main goal in this sector should just be to collect a lot of scrap and then upgrade much of our ship. Oh, that's a lot on one ship. That is a spicy meatball. I think I'm just going to keep using Pegasus a bit. Actually, Heavy Laser Burst Laser was not a bad combo. I, I kind of want to save it. This is hard. We'll go for shields and weapons. Some combination thereof. Nah, you know what? I, I can keep dodging the weapons. We got to go for these drones, man. I don't know what's going to lead to. I actually, I'm just going to do this. Because we got to get these things powered off right away. Stat. Now, what are they going to fire at us? Two bombs. These are all firing at different times. This is bad. These aren't in sync. Dodge. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> that was awful. Okay, you know what? Uh, fire up Pegasus. Wasting time here. Take down their weapons. Shields, then go in for something else with the burst laser. It's almost like we have too many options, and I would just be better off if I had one. Mm, what was that? They ionized the non system room. Fine. Okay, okay. Cloaking is still offline. Cloaking is still offline. They just fired a. a laser. Here comes the laser. I don't want that to hit in time. Let's just fire our lasers at their weapons. Oh, that was a nasty hit. Ah, three misses. Pegasus fire again. Again at their shields. Keep firing the burst laser at their weapons. Now we are getting our... This thing must have very good evade. That's, I think, what's causing this. Ooh, who leveled up? Was that Phillips? No, it wasn't Phillips. We really need him to get the next level. Ah, the party beam. Great job, party beam. Everyone loves it when Squidward brings in the party beam. Why did I bring Squidward into this? Yeah, the Arty... I think at this point it's just our other systems and the Arty beam now. The Arty beam is just so much fun. That thing's the best. Alright, 94... So many systems I want. I know we're not even going to be able to power up everything. That's the sad part. Sad. All right, well, I'm not going anymore for shields. Let's get more power bars because we're definitely going to need them. We'll up our evade a little bit. Now we're at 35%. We'll see if we can save all the repairs for the last section. Sector. Might upgrade that already beam, but I'm going to save that for my last dough. Scans reveal a base on a nearby planet. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we'll go for a short term. 10 seconds off the arty beam. Give me that. Makes us a little bit more powerful because we're still not quite getting through before we get those last weapon upgrades. We're going to be able to do another two on weapons. Then we'll be able to use the last five or so for like alternate systems, oxygen, and maybe engines. Yeah. Okay, I think we're going to be good in terms of power. So about that much I'm optimistic, despite the fact that we didn't get a backup battery anywhere in this playthrough, which I'm quite surprised that we didn't find any. Let's just keep going here. Defense is more than fine at the moment. I think our defense is okay. It's okay. God damn it, these people have cloaking. 
All of their weapons are charging up at more or less the same rate, though. We're gonna get our asses kicked from the fire here. Which of these do I want? I think I'll avoid the missile when it fires. These two are fine. Okay, now I'm going to fire this at their weapons. Fire the burst. Oh, why did I even do this? They don't even have a shield. This is weird. I took that for granted. And just fire at that. Yeah, no reason to use missiles here. In fact, let's power down Pegasus and just use the charge laser on this. Then we will do this. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> that was so close. Okay, that's more like it. Mm, they're holding up pretty well. Mm, good repair is going up. Phillips is nearly the next level. Ah, he just made it. Great. Great job, Philip. You help out in there. That is not a one-man job. Uh, you also help out in there. That is more like a three-man job. Cloak. Oh, why are we not firing this one? God damn it. Okay, there it is. All right. I think we're going to win without too much more fire. Let's get back out into our rooms, and then we'll heal everybody. And the party laser ends it. Love the party laser. Okay, let's get out of here before our ship goes on fire. Charge and burst laser could be good enough to get through multi -layer. Yeah, I think, you know, what we've got in terms of bursts... Well, this was our weapon set last time. We had Pegasus, Charge 2, Laser, and Burst Laser Mark 2. Um, I think we're good. We could just keep fighting here. Hmm. This thing is still recharging from that last fight. That is quite unfortunate. They have defense drones. Anti-combat drone and a defense drone. So we don't even want to shoot a missile at these guys. So let's just wait with this one. Um, hmm. I'm getting pretty bad luck here lately. Let's go in with the heavy laser and the burst laser. Yeah, that's good. Shades, 135. Thank you for the sub, my friend. Bit of power in my flying <laughs> oh, This This ship has, uh... Continuously been the the victim of many of many uh, of many lewd jokes. Mm. Yeah, let's take down weapons. Then we'll worry about drones and stuff like that. That was pretty good. I'd just say keep going for weapons. Let's just keep them slow. Yeah. And then after that, we'll shoot into their other systems. Good. Okay, now let's shoot at their pilot. As long as they can't shoot... Like, my kind of treatise on this is that as long as they can't shoot us, and as long as their pilot and engine are good... I mean, it might take a little bit longer. Yeah, party laser. Good job, party laser. Everyone loves you, party laser. Keep doing that. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's rather a lot of scrap. Wow. That was like a hundred scrap from one fight. Did you see that? Get used to the, looking at their med bay, clone bay, and crew to see if it's boarding is viable. Ah, uh, that's true. I mean, like, I feel like that... Uh, I don't know. I, I'm wary of making this big mistake, only because it co cost me the whole run. I just shouldn't have done that. It can tell me the enemy crew's names. I didn't even notice that. As tempting as this is, as tempting as it may be, we do need fuel. <laughs> We're running low. Oh no, we did get fuel from that. Great. Let's get evasion and party laser. Now, I'm kind of of the opinion that a good defense, or that a good offense is the best defense. So let's go first in for the arty laser, and then we'll do evasion upgrades. Or this. Uh, but a 20 second cooldown is just really overpowered when it goes through everything. I like this because I think we're getting by with the weapons that we're using right now. So let's do this. And we are slightly too low for that, but that's fine. We could just take some off of that and do this. And this. Great, now our RD laser has a 20 second cooldown. This is very strong. I know, I, sh I should have waited for full weapons, but F me. I'm, yeah, I'm, I, wanna, I want it now. It's fun. 
We'll go here, 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 here. Yeah. Uh, I'll buy another power. So we get the evade up. Good. I'm thinking arty laser, weapons, evade at the end. Um, hmm. I mean, we've got the arty. The arty laser maxed out is going to be really strong because how long does it take for these things to charge up? I can't find it right now. I think it was about 13 seconds for each of these. So the arty laser is going to be firing really frequently here. Um, in fact, if the arty laser gets through stuff, it might just be more worth it to go Pegasus. I got it. And now I'm starting to see I could have been even stronger this run if I had managed it a different way. We'll go for the things that's, or that are uh, pretty essential. I go for that. The arty laser is going to be really strong because there's so many rooms on this ship, too. I can't stop saying arty laser. <laughs> this will be bad if they manage to take down our shields. But I doubt that they'll do that. Wow, that was extremely bad. This is another reason why I upgraded the arty laser. Oh, that was weird. How do they take that down? Did I miss something? That is quite good. We will dodge now. And they're offering us fuel. Can they get out of this? They might be able to get out of this. Hmm. Somebody told me this about the surrenders that the surrenders is always a wor is it always a worse offer? Yeah, I think we should I think we should kill them here. For the next jump, my crew is beat up, so I... Oh, yeah, I forgot to heal them before. Although I like the fuel offer, I think that we could do better in this one. Only because the max power already laser is pretty much going to wreck their ship. These aren't perfectly in sync, either. Oh, well, they aren't going to do any more damage to us. And I'm pretty sure our already laser is just going to... Yeah, there it is. This is a nice ship. Okay, I that was good. We didn't get any fuel, but I, I think overall it was worth it. Great, we've got a store so we can get more fuel. Uh, and the next sector is actually the last one. So let's just focus on our systems. I think we have enough fuel to get to the next sector. And after that, I'm I'm pretty sure, don't they fuel you up right away once you, telep uh, once you go there? Because it would be horrible to not have enough fuel. Yeah, we don't need fuel. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we won't need any fuel. Let's just not waste the money on that. We want to get it for uh, more essential ship systems. And we'll see if we can just save up for the other... Uh, well, I already said all this. Then this was, uh, fire suppression. Okay, we have a rock crew member, so we're going to send him in. Augment repair arm. This one's hard. I think the scrap is better only because we're going to be getting free repairs from now on. Yeah, I'm I'm going to keep I know the scrap arm isn't that good this no, that's true. It's only 10% more of it. We'll get uh, what do we do? All right, I'll let you guys decide. What do you want to see? Do you want me to get the repair arm or the scrap arm? It, the repair arm might be better this late, but I'm not sure because we won't have as much to upgrade our weapon systems. Get rid of shield charge booster. We could. We could. I like those ones. Repair arm. Yeah, I'm thinking that. I mean, automated reloader is definitely good. I want to keep that. Shield charge booster. Evasion becomes more powerful in these last fights. Yeah, but I th I'm of the opinion that we should do this. It won't make a big difference, but it'll make a slight one. We're at 180. Okay, let's find out what they have in this store. Hello, I am at the store with my money. Ready to spend it on things. Sell this. Is there any reason to have the pike beam? Nah. Nah, it's just not that powerful. Getting rid of it. Oh, yeah, heal the crew. Thank you. I keep forgetting this. Oh, mind control. We love mind control so much. It's so good. But I'm not sure if I need it. Uh, it's pretty OP for the last battle, though, too. Can I even buy it? I've reached the system limit. Oh, once I install the systems, I can't uninstall them. Oh, that is very bad. I will need to remember that in the future. Wait a minute. This ship is at full systems? You're gonna be kidding me. 
we can't we don't have room for that there that's too bad i should have gone for mind control instead of this hey tke how are you happy to see you my friend happy to see you as always Oh, yeah, we gotta fix the ship. Uh, I mean, they're gonna fix it a little bit in the... Uh, don't remember. Do they fix your ship completely when you get into the last sector? Do I need to do it? Or will I be better off if I just don't fix? And then we let them fix it in the last one. Yeah, like, to spend the scrap on other things. I'm trying to remember what happens when you get into... They, they fix ten? Okay, ten. So maybe I'll fix... How much am I missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I am gonna repair. I'll repair a little bit. I'll repair a little bit, only just in case. There's also the repair beacons, but sometimes they can be in weird spots, too. There's only three tier levels of rewards, high, medium, and low. I feel like they could add just a few things to FTL and make it, like, an incredible game. It already is, but... I reg the one My one regret of this entire playthrough has been the teleporting. Should've done mine. The one thing that's great about mind control and which is better than teleporting is there's never any risk uh, to your crew when you do that. But we have 205, I think I'm going to go for the full weapon systems, and then we'll do repair our ship with whatever else we've got. Let's do that, accept, and then we'll go to the store and repair as much as we can with that, so that's fine. They were going to repair a little bit in the last sector anyway, and we'll just try not to take damage. Uh, but we are a little bit low on power, so the last things we'll need to do is get five more of these power blocks. Um, that's going to be enough to power up more of our ship. Yes, more. We can take off the art, and we can kind of distribute these two as we like. Just think of the arty beam as another weapon. Um, what other things do we need to do before this last fight? I think just max out on power, and then we'll put whatever else is left on to evade. Yeah. We have repair arm. Oh, we do have repair arm. I totally forgot about the repair arm, too. But that'll just keep us in pretty good condition as we move. I mean, it's every time that we get scrap, so... Sad part is I haven't used tell yeah, it's it's too bad. It's like there I I feel dumb. I feel dumb. I'll probably not use teleport again. Only because I had one horrible teleport that I don't want to use it again. Uh we have tons of missiles. I think they're going to give us a bad reward this time. Like something that we don't need, so I'm gonna give them only the five. Simply because they usually offer some big upgrade and I've already got all my upgrade slots filled. Great. Okay, so they repaired, you know, repaired tons of hull. I forgot to buy fuel. Damn it. Um, please have fuel on this rebel ship. All right, let's see. What, what are we going to do with these guys? They have a mark. Oh, that is a rather strong laser. We can always just dodge that. I'm thinking go Pegasus. Onto their engines or piloting section. And then we'll do burst laser onto their eh, engine. Yeah, that's fine. Mostly just going to rely on the party laser, though, here. Oh, these idiots. <laughs> these guys are so dead when they could. Look, I'm just lining everyone up. Although, unfortunately, I cannot see their weapon charges. I can still kind of watch the weapons. Okay, we uh, want the add oxygen back. I think I'm going to save this for that big one, though. Oh, those two missiles. Please don't tell me that they didn't just miss. Jesus. Do that. Uh, Pegasus, keep firing at that. Now we are in danger of the next barrage, so maybe I'll spend a little bit trying to take down this thing. Okay, okay. Just relying on that party laser. Come on, party laser, come through for me. Great, okay, that was the laser that I wanted down. Fantastic, fantastic. Oh, they're dead now. They're totally dead. We just need more power on this ship. Once we get more power on the ship, then we're fine. Yeah, look at this thing. Look at this ship. Look at this ship. This isn't even a ship. Yeah, they're not going to fly away. These guys are dead. It's kind of fun to watch the enemy ship, like, internally experiencing so much trauma. 
Um. Hmm. Methinks power bars? And just, like, go from that. Oh, God, why did I do this? Turn on the distress beacon. I don't really know. Is this better? We haven't been in this situation where we ran out of fuel, but we're by the rebel fleet. I don't know why I missed this. I, I just turned a blind eye to this. We were literally one fuel off. Increases the chance of an encounter, so we absolutely do want this. Yeah, so that's good. Okay. All right. Oh, thank God. Oh, God, why did they... They lied. Everyone lies. And they have hacking, too. This could be bad. God damn it. It's like, anytime you make one tiny mistake in this game, you get your ass kicked. Did they boarded our ship, too? I don't even see that. Uh, you don't get it. Uh, wait, I didn't even heal you? I... Let's be in jest. Well, okay, that was a pretty decent system for them to hack. Thank God it was nothing better. You get out of there. You go back here to Obamacare. And we're gonna, um... I'm just trying to watch for when their missiles fire. How's my crew doing? Did they... F okay, they did fire. Damn it. <laughs> Shit. Oh, that hit the arty beam, too. Ah, uh, F me. I wasn't looking for one second. Okay, you know, our crew's getting good combat experience. Send you both in there. You repair the arty beam. Send Pegasus onto their, uh, onto their weapons. Burst laser onto their, uh, you know, do that. No, we just gotta evade that one. Good, we evade, ooh, that was nice. Send you two in there. Actually, I'm thinking Pegasus goes for, uh... Yeah, uh, yeah, go for the crew itself. That's usually a good thing. Great. Okay, this is a fine offer. We're gonna get some fuel out of it, and we're gonna get out of here. Oh, we killed one of their crew members. So sad. Very bad. Nice. Yeah, oh, that was an attack level two? I didn't even notice that. Wow. That's a very overpowered drone. If we can manage to find one of those, that would be great. That would have been good with the NG ship, but unfortunately we didn't. How is our Philip? Phillips is getting better with the weapons. It looks like we did the right thing moving him into that position at that point in time. It sounds like their ship might actually get destroyed. Can you hear all of the stuff going on in their ship? Like, more internal damage in there. Yeah. There's, like, glass breaking. Even if... We, yeah, look, Vivamord is losing health. Wow, didn't know that you could do that. Yep, sometimes that happens. Unfortunately, you can't pick up the scrap and rewards from the ship, though. It's a good detour and spent extra fuel. That, yeah. Repair the... Yeah, we got the tele repair. I think our crew's in good condition. I'm redistributing the power. Now we just need two more power to upgrade our weapons. And then we can focus on evade in the last sector. I definitely think that we need another weapon firing, though. We can micro this. We might take a lot of damage in the next sector, though. I don't know. But I don't want to go without those weapons. That would just feel stupid if I didn't do it. Hopefully we get a good layout. What is that? I got technophobia. All right. Um, well, they gave us plenty of fuel. This is a decent layout. We'll go right for the repair beacons. The repair beacons are in a fairly good spot. Yes, I can get there from that. Okay, great. So we know that we're going to get guaranteed scrap in these. And we just want to buy tons of power and then evade. I think that's pretty much our entire goal in this sector. And then, you know, like uh, auxiliary systems if we need. Prep a boarding crew for the flagship. Would be nice. Um... Will we lose them? Well, it'll beam away. I think we should fight. The yeah, we're going to get a repair in like two seconds anyway, so we'll do this. Uh, Pegasus. Where am I firing this at? Oh, Yimigi. Yimigi. 
Thank you for the sub, my friend. Appreciate it. Bidoof is the, Bidoof is the best. Ah, you have a great name. I've always liked targeting shields because they guaranteed it. I like it too. See, I used to be like that. I used to be just like you. And you. <laughs> uh, I can't stop referencing Key and Peel. Um, I used to always fire at shields. My main thing is just that... I'm stupid. I mean, I, I did, but... I'm really keen on just getting the weapon systems out immediately. So what was that that they fired at us? I can't see what it is, nor can I tell what that weapon is. It's some kind of bomb. I should have just cloaked right there. I think we could tank this, though. Nope, I was wrong. That was very wrong of me. That was bad. Alright, uh, let's go for their... Uh, it's not even going to be worth it to fire this laser again. I mean, we effed him up, but could have done it worse. Let's go Pegasus on shields this time. They're pilots down so they can't escape. This guy is being stupid. Oh, why did I take my pilot out of there? That was bad. I didn't even notice that. All right, let's take down shields. Hope that we get a lucky hit here. I didn't take any hull damage, though, so that's the good news. Let's keep getting him better at repairing the oxygen, just because we're going to need that for the last fight. Okay, great. Oh, fantastic. Wow, that was a lot of scrap. Nice. Son of a bitch, when's my next video? Uh, today or tomorrow. Did I take an arrow to the knee? <laughs> Did I take an arrow to the knee? Until I took an arrow to the knee. This arty laser. It's the arty laser is just fun. I like that having random firing going on in the enemy ship. Okay, now we've got enough to power the arty laser fully, and then like two other weapon systems, so we can go either heavy laser or charge laser, depending upon the situation. This is fantastic. We have tons of missiles to fire at them. Pegasus fires double. I I think we're pretty much in the clear here. I'm gonna buy the last two power because we're absolutely gonna need it. Um, actually, we'll do that and then that. Now I can do this. So now we're up to 40% evade, which is pretty good for the last fight, though I would like to get that a little bit higher. Let's heal our crew. We'll go to the repair beacon and see if we can get one more evade for this final battle. I'm not going to put anything on our pilot, but maybe I should instead of another evade. Yeah, maybe we'll be better off just so that the piloting section is more immune to damage. You see what I'm saying? Like, if we have two damage points on the pilot and thinking, yeah it'll take a longer time to repair but it's also less of a chance they'll get completely wiped out uh yes doors closed now mm. could put my two mantis on the teleporter i could for the last fight that might be safer i liked having philip on the oxygen because he's gotten he didn't really get that much better at repair hmm yeah, I don't know. I it feels like kind of a like a, a white elephant. What I did with that. Hmm. Well, I do want to prevent him from getting to the base right away, and we do have guaranteed scrap at the repair places. So let's go to the repair beacons. Can we save them for the fight? Hmm. And let's. You know what? Let's go one, two, three. That's how we'll fight this flagship. Though they're probably also going to take out the repair beacons if I don't do anything. I've always found that I can't really go back to them once the fight has begun. And that one is closer. So let's go to this one. Just keep it simple. Great. They gave us a lot of scrap. Um, we're definitely going to need the power. Piloting is cheap. Yes, yeah, see, they already took out the other repair beacon, so before we even got to it, we could never have gotten to that thing in time. The repair beacons are a lie. Damn it. Let's go to the base. I think that this is going to be our last choice here. I definitely needed the power. We're now at max power. We can't really buy the evade. Oxygen or piloting? What do you think I should get? If they hack the oxygen, am I immediately dead? They, hack the, I, they can't actually hack the piloting uh, because it's in the middle of the ship. Level 2 oxygen. Normally I would say piloting first, but the fact that they can't hack my pilot where they are, I'm 
thing in oxygen, only because I don't want that instant death. That would be bad. Is our oxygen on the outside? Yeah, it is on the outside of the ship. So if we get hacked on oxygen, we're dead. Okay, let's go oxygen. Yeah. Only in case of worst case scenario. What other things could they hack and we get screwed on? Cloaking would be, eh. Cameras would be great. Weapons would be bad. Teleporting would be good. I just wasted that. We're not gonna dwell on that any longer though. All right, let's go to the base. We might have a chance to go to the repair beacon before, only because I don't think we'll be able to get to it after the battle. Uh, since these repair beacons have a tendency to disappear after the fight, I'm gonna go to the repair beacon and then I'm gonna engage the ship. That way we might be able to get the piloting upgrade too. They can hack any prime- oh, really? They can do it regardless of position? Even though that it's in the middle of my ship? It's f I think it's fully surrounded by rooms. Mm-hmm. Normally I would take the evade here, but I think that the piloting is better in case if we get some horrible, unforeseen thing. All right, this is gonna be a very low evade boss run, but we do have cloaking, so I think we're good. We'll have 20, and then will we have any use for the last bits? Let's just do it. Cloaking too might be, uh, cloaking is good, but it, it's mo I usually, I usually just use it as a dodge. If we can time it right, I think I'm gonna do this. I think we are ready for the boss fight. I just wish we had a little bit more evade and a couple Zoltans, that would've been nice. All right, let's go to the rebel flagship. Gulp. We could go here first, but what if we get into some bad, let's just go in in full condition, I think. I'll prep the borders if, if the fight looks bad, if it looks bad. All right, so here's the flagship. Um, wish me luck. Everything's been leading up to this. We still don't have that higher level in weapons. That's the one thing we could have gotten. We're going to not cloak right away. It's going to cloak right away. Um, hmm. I'm just thinking of what... Uh, my nerves here are about what they're going to hack. I'm going to save the borders for a little bit later on. I mean, if they teleport away in this last fight, do you lose your borders? I mean, on the other hand, too, maybe I'm being too... I just find that these guys get killed really fast. If we find ourselves in a desperate yeah, situation, maybe, maybe. Or maybe we could go in and take out one of their systems. Okay, they're going to hack. Let's just see what they're going to hack. It looks like they did get the oxygen. Um, there's not any way of avoiding this now. Even if we cloak, it'll just slow it down. Um, so it's a good thing that we did put that money into oxygen. I think that this means that the oxygen goes on and off. This is actually a fairly good system for them to hack. We're better off with more power. In it. I don't really want to beam my borders out yet. Well, the one place where it would be good for me to beam my borders would be their weapon systems. We could do that. The oxygen is rapidly going down, but this is going to be intermittent, right? If I'm not mistaken. Or are we just dead now? If we're just dead, then I'm screwed. Let's get these guys into boarding position. Yeah, I, I, stup I was stupid there. Okay, I'm going to go for Matt with Pegasus. I'm going to use the charge laser because I want a massive missile barrage. And then I'm going to board them at their laser position. Okay, the oxygen is charging back up, so actually we're in pretty much no danger there. Um, better to teleport troops to gun rooms. Yep, we're going to be teleporting our troops into their laser room. And I think that's the biggest danger to us. We want to just take out this thing immediately. The rockets are the most dangerous to us. We're going to wait until those things charge up. All right, that was their lasers. I'm fine with the lasers. We're going to dodge once we get, uh, yeah, right now. Are there ions charged? Well, we're going to cloak anyway. You get out of the... Oh, crap. You got stuck in the oxygen room. Yeah, I messed that up. Mantis versus human is going to win, though. So I'm going to teleport him in anyway. Let's do this. Yeah, I, I effed up there. 
All good. You teleport in there. Even if I lose this Mantis, I'm not really going to need him for this last fight. Okay, he is winning the fight, so that's the good news. Oh, the party laser really did some work there. Great job, party laser. And our other lasers are ready to fire as soon as they are done closing. Okay, good. We've taken out this guy. Who is... Okay, Young Money is... Great job, Young Money. <laughs> Is this Among Us too? <laughs> Man, that party laser is really good in the last fight. Okay, you are going to destroy their lasers. This thing is pretty much dead. Let's see if we can just take this out immediately with these two lasers. Oh no, actually that's fine. He's pro That guy's probably gonna die in there. Eh, you know, shoot that at him. And then shoot this at their Shields. Great, he's dead. Okay, we're in little danger now. We did the most of it. Uh, let's see, turn that off. Um, now Pegasus is going to fire at... Let's get their ions down just so that they can't take down any more of our systems. And then we'll worry about our other lasers in a second. Cloak. Young Money is destroying their laser room. And as soon as he gets that back, we'll just take that thing. I feel like that this boss battle is much easier than last time. I'm going to start needing to play the game on the harder difficulty. Now that we know that these two rooms are just the worst. Wait, Jesus Christ, what just happened? Oh, God, I didn't even notice that the thing had, like, no whole health left. We, we lost Young Money! No, he's still on board the ship! <laughs> I didn't even see that! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, F, F. I got so into the fight, I was so focused. Ah, oh, Jesus. Well, we did a really good job on that. I mean, I didn't even have to try. We still have Philip who can go get back his brother, Young Money. <laughs> That was sad and also awesome at once. Oh, that was great. That was great fun. That was the perfect system for them to hack, though. Okay, um, I'm not really worried about phase two of the ship. What do we have now? 55? We can upgrade, uh... Oh, that was kind of embarrassing. We can, uh... What should we even upgrade? That's why, that's why I don't teleport crew, because I lose track of them. Oh, God. All right, what, what, what should we upgrade next? Will it be the med bay or evasion? I think those are the two. I don't think doors are really that important here. Uh, the one danger we're going to have is mind control in the last fight. Since we don't have our own mind control, we might end up having to kill one of our own crew members. Ev um, evasion. Evasion. We've got the pilot bay upgraded once. I, th I think once is an... Uh, we could upgrade it again. At the same time, the pilot, if the pilot bay goes down, we're really in trouble. Doors, doors could keep us safe from our own crew. Uh, they will actually teleport onto our ship in the last battle, though, too. And now that we lost young money, we aren't going to have trouble with that boarding. Damn. I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to upgrade the med bay because I want to fight these guys in the med bay. Might not be smart, but only because I don't want to lose any more crew members. That was That was pretty bad of me. We can't upgrade anything else, right? Yeah. All right. We haven't made too many mistakes. I'm glad that we got some use out of the teleporter. I do think that it helped there a little bit. All right, this is the drone phase of the ship. Um, doors would have been good, too. I'm going to go straight in with Pegasus on that again. I'm going to save the boarding only because I really effed up right there. Um, we're going to shoot all of our lasers at their lasers. Once we get a chance. Let's power this down. Let's power up our... Do we really have anything else to power? I guess we'll power up our mid bay. Yeah, that's good. All right. Save all these things to charge up. Now, the one thing is that they do give a... Oh, God. I forgot about this. Oh, I hate this guy. I really don't like this one. You two go in there. Man, we really would have been better off. All right. Well, whatever. 
Kill him. End his life. Uh, let's open up the other doors on the ship. That is a great trick. I didn't know that you could move the oxygen in there with that. Now, these guys are going to kick our asses. Uh, they get a drone burst, which means there's about 20 drones that come around your ship, which is bananas. So we can't let them get the shields down for very long. Get Philip out of there and use the rock against them. Ooh. Evasion. I almost missed that. Almost is a bad word. Mm, stay on shields. I'm going to send Roper out there to repair this. Roper, you go in there. Let's put out the fire in there. Use this on this and this. Actually, yeah, just get that out. Careful of the explosion. Extra, uh, extra power to oxygen help with the cake. Oh, God. I think this will be okay. All right. Okay, good. It's on fire now, so the lasers should start to take more damage. They have no crew in there, and that is good. Let's also destroy their drone compartment. I just, we need this thing out because they have a lot of drones that will start to swarm us in this fight. See, there's like 20 drones here right now. It's, this is a lot of, rather a lot of drones, isn't it? You get in there. Oh God, is he gonna die? Is he all right? Is he okay? He's going to live. Uh, power up the med bay more. God, that was kind of close. I didn't realize that they were losing so much oxygen. Okay, how are we doing with the... I know the oxygen is really bad. Hasselhoff, we almost lost him there. Yes, the, the arty beam will be coming back as soon as uh, Roper repairs that. You're doing a great job, Roper. Don't listen to what anyone says. Let's get these all off of auto fire. We want that on. Good, their lasers are out. They have only the whole beam left. Good. Who is Who is complaining about dying? I swear to God, if I hear one more complaint about dying, get him in. Get him into the med bay. Eee. We need more oxygen being restored on this ship. No, you stay there. I don't have enough crew. It's a big loss. You get in there. Shit. This is a. Uh, why isn't the oxygen restoring faster? Quite upsetting. Okay, I'm just going to cloak because I am scared right now. Okay. Uh, exterior door is still on the back. Oh, the oh the exterior. Ah, oh, I didn't. I missed that. I missed that. Thank you. Well, the other doors are closed now, so that is good. Yes, we've got the hole in the oxygen room. Wait, somebody holds there. I thought Shia LaBeouf was going to come in and start. Here we are. Okay, just keep taking down the drones. Just keep firing everything at the drones. Because this is way too many of them. Oh my god, why is it not... Nothing hits. Alright, do that again. We'll have one more burst. One more burst. Great, our crew is looking fine, and we've taken almost no hull damage for this entire fight. I would like I would like you to note that. Remember that about me after this run is over. Okay, we got to get this already beam up because this fight needs to end now. You get in there. David Hassoff, do this in memory of young money. All right, here we are. Great, they are on fire, they are dead. Ah ha ha ha. Very nice, so now we can upgrade another room because we have 47 again. All right, this is not going that bad. Besides that one mistake, we've done fine. Reach the drain oxygen faster than the level of O2 can restore. Oh, I guess that makes sense. You know, it just keeps going out into the vacuum. Yeah, better doors might not be bad here. Only because of the way that the oxygen slips through. Um, or what is it? Actually, no, I think that's fire. My bad. We have done it again. We have done it again. This is why we need a Zoltan. All right. I think that that med bay upgrade was really good, though. Healing boost 1.5 times. Okay, um, we got 47. The choice is yours. Will it be evasion or med bay? Or oxygen actually is the choice yours? Am I gonna let you choose this? I'm leaning toward med bay. I don't think that the evasion is really gonna do that much. Doors? Doors? You want doors? Okay, to be fair, since the last fight does have borders, that's true. We'll do that. And since we can't 
we don't have that ng med bot dispersal. I'm glad that you say it. I meant to say it in the first place, after all. Did I know that on hard mood, the weapon rooms on the flagship are connected so the whole crew can... Really? Oh, that sucks. I think I've been to that fight for... Or I've been on it in normal. I'm not sure if I've ever been on it in hard. I think our ship is ready. Okay, the next fight features mind control. They have many fewer systems, but they still, again, have those systems that we have to take down right away. Um, I'm pretty happy with these weapon systems as being the ones we'll power. Taking no hole damage. Oh, we got it repaired after that. Let's go straight in for it. Okay, the last phase of the boss fight is my second least favorite one. Now, they've mind-controlled uh, Philip. Not the best person to mind-control because he's a very good fighter, but we might just have to kill Philip right here. This is going to make this fight even more difficult and problematic. Um, is there any way to take back Philip? Decompress in advance? What, with oxygen? How do we... Can we dodge mind control with... Well, they do it immediately. Um... I know, I already killed his brother. Just We could leave him in there and he'll take down the oxygen. But he's gonna... That's probably gonna get us killed. We could destroy the mind control system, but it might take too long to destroy. I am of this opinion. Let's fire... Pegasus? And all of our missiles, just constantly at this thing. Um, just until we take down the shield. That's what we'll do with our guns. They're going to board us pretty hard right now, too. See, they're already headed in there. Um, there's at least two of them, but I think it's more like four that take over. Vent lower left till O2, open door to med bay to lure him in. Oh, that is smart. Like this? So this way, it's going to take a few seconds, but he won't fully destroy the oxygen. He'll come into the med bay, and we can fight him in the med bay before we... T that is pretty smart. Does Cloak help dodge boarding? Uh, I don't know. I would rather save my Cloak for when they fire rockets, though, because it seems like it's only going to delay it. Hmm... Cloak does prevent boarding? It just delays boarding. Damn it. Okay, I'm going to stick with that. Where am I going to have my crew for this fight? Is Hasselhoff going to be very useful here? Me thinks that Hasselhoff needs to be in the med bay because Hasselhoff has a lot of HP. He's a great person to have fighting Philip because he can take a hit from Philip while he's in there. Um, are we going to power up this oxygen more? I'm going to take one off of my evade and put it onto oxygen. Uh, actually, we'll just... No, that won't help, because that's only for refill. Keep the party beam powering up. Yeah, have Hasselhoff fight him. Lure him in there. Uh, we're going to close that door as well, and leave these other doors just as they are. Okay, now we've got some decisions to make. They're going to have to fight the shield guy, but we just hope that... Mm. This is a lot. I would like to bring Roper into this room. I don't have any way of bringing oxygen in there. Well, if only he weren't being mind controlled right now. All right, uh, I'm gonna leave you there. We can hope that that mind control wears off in a couple of seconds. Oh crap, they're destroying my cloak though too. I'm thinking this, let's send Hasselhoff back there. I shouldn't have done that. And let's send Roper in there as well, because they aren't on any essential systems. We'll see if we could save our cloaking. They're going to take it down, though, I think. Oh. Damn it, too, too late. Okay, well, at least we got the oxygen. I think we've evaded the worst thing. I also forgot about their super weapon, too. Damn it. Um, yeah. No, I'm, I'm watching again. As long as we defend the cloaking. Poor NG. <laughs> you two go in here. Our cloaking is recharging again. It actually didn't do that much damage to our ship. 
We still haven't taken down their main shield, so we're going to wait on that. Okay, now we have, so let's wait on these two lasers. We'll have them fire in unison, and then we'll fire Pegasus at this, because I really want this weapon down. And then we'll fire our charge laser at the mind control once we have that down. No one on our ship is dying. Shit. And now everyone on our ship is dying. We gotta go repair that oxygen. Mm, why did they have to hit the oxygen? And our crew is stunned in here too. This is not too great. We got pretty unlucky here. And our weapons are down too. Oh, we got pretty we got pretty weak right there. I should have put Pegasus at the front. I shouldn't have had that as the one that was losing power. Let's put it on let's put it there for now anyway. Um board on their missiles. Yeah, that would have been good too. Well, we would have lost more crew. Damn. Power up Pegasus. We'll wait on the charge laser. Keep repairing that. I don't know, I'm at a standstill here. Um I'm gonna I don't wanna die the oxygen death. Weapons are important, but we need the cloaking more. So I'm gonna send him over there. I'm going to send my NGs in here to repair this. And I'm gonna leave the rest of my crew in here to deal with their crew. That'll get our shields back online. And then hopefully we can get our cloaking back up. Now, is there any way that we need to distribute power better? I think we just gotta kinda go along with this. Okay, their crew is mostly dead now. Helping them with the med bay. Our shields are going back up. Ah, Artie Beam. Great job, Artie Beam. Yeah, we do. We need the pilot to dodge, though, too. Zemu should get back in there, but I really need this oxygen back online. want us to run out of oxygen that's that's the end okay Brecken you're losing too much health get back in there open up these doors stop that fire Phillips you go back here you get back to the camera room to put out that fire you two go in here good their mind control is worn off Pegasus fire at their goddamn missiles I really hate those missiles Zemu, you got almost all the oxygen repaired. Two more seconds and get back to piloting. Great. Okay. Um, really hope that they don't kill my crew here. Bra I really got to get these two guys into healthcare, but... I kind of want to wait till the end of the fight, if that makes sense. Okay, we got Pegasus. Did a great job on their missiles. Uh, what, what else? Am I missing anything? My, my main thing is I don't want Zemu and Brecken to die. They're in the uh, engine and the pilot bay. But I, I don't really want to wait. Maybe, we, yeah, wait till we cloak. Cloak. Send them out to get some free Obamacare over there. Um, and then... <laughs> and then <laughs> use... <laughs> oh, God, there's so much to do. Yeah, wait till they're firing, though. Wait till they're firing. Destroy their mind... I mean, I'd like to get their mind control, but we could always just send whoever is being mind controlled into the med bay. I think we got another fire going on in here, though, that I can't see. That's going to just glance off of us. Don't forget, too, they're going to have their super weapon that gets fired at us. Oh, crap. Our rock is now getting mind controlled. All right. Very well. Um, Let's just destroy their mind control. No more, no more of this. Good. Okay, now is the time to dodge. Ah, that was satisfying and nice. Great job, Party Beam. I think we won this. Pegasus, shoot their weapons. Although it's not quite as much of a threat to us. And we have taken down the mind control. Get back in there. Do we have a fire on the ship? There are several fires on our ship. Everyone go back to your quarters. Just check on the, if there's a fire in here. Close those doors. See if there's a fire in that room. I uh, know, but we got a hole, but that's fine, actually. Maybe even good. I think our already beam is just going to destroy. Yep. 
GG. GG. In memory of Young Money. Thank you, guys. You've taken me through my second FTL run of success. Now I think we can actually get onto normal mood. Uh, and yes, more importantly, perhaps, we did get the Zoltan Cruiser, so now we can get, uh, now we can get the pacifist run, which we have wanted for so long. <laughs>